Wait, never, never mind. Maybe Wi Fi will be a Shit. Then a ball player, my cap, pretty, I jump. We in a bit of Madiki, the Lui, we heavy. Live me again. Impera Gurka. Pasajara Rosa, guys. So, why you put a nickel and go to the same weight car? अभी ऑन किया अभी वाला गंदा मुझे पता गंदा रीकनेक्ट मारे गंदा रीकनेक्ट मारेगा भाई अब तो कहीं खाने भी नहीं जा सकते भाई भाई खा के क्या आएगा मैं खाया रात को 3 बजे भाई किधर भी चलो आजो फिर की हो गया I'm not that car is over here. Maro the Deku, live be agony. We will shock me. I think my private car is public. It doesn't matter, bro. Okay. How's everyone doing? Perfect. Bro, this is ridiculous. <laughs> उसको पकड़ते हैं खुदाफा को हां भाई टेस्टी वेलकम ये अच्छे क्या बजा फैन तुम्हें देखो ये लोडा सिंगल है तो अगर तुमने एप्लीकेशन फिल करना है इसके साथ लेट मी नो हां हां क्यू अप माफा भी गंदा कटने वाला स्प्लेड एवरीवन नो अभी रिकनेक्ट आएगा ना देखना अभी इधर गंदा वाला रिकनेक्ट होगा मैं ट्रक पे आया ना हम्म ना मुझे भी लग रहा है छूटे नहीं है निकले हम <laughs> बंक भी किधर था यार बकरी प्लानिंग चल रही है इधर बैंड शो देखो ये मनहूस आया उसी वक्त रीकनेक्ट भाई चमकाई है तुमने लोड़े चमकाई है लोंडे की गाड़ी चेक करो गाइस 2024 कैमरी चेक इट आउट बॉयज हैवी है कि नहीं मैं पुराना चला रहा हूं ट्रक भाई ये देखो अगला है किस्मत है यार देखो अमीर लोंडे हैं देखो अमीर अमीर बाप की मीर औलाद भाई हम गरीब लोग नहीं भाई किधर भाई कौन इस वाले नहीं होता बैठा हुआ कॉल कर उसको जरा मेरा तो फोन बिजी है चलो फिर गाने शाने मत ही लगाइयो ठीक है ना कॉपी राइटेड हां नो ना नो कॉपी राइट ये और वन इधर फोन पे नहीं हुआ स्किल ना तो हां ये तो बहन की जूत 
का गाली नहीं देनी भाई वाल फास्टिंग हाँ भाई राइट ये तो मसला बन गया तो बहुत बड़ा यार एक तो ये सीढ़ी गाड़ी जो है ना ये रोना शुरू कर देती है मुझे ये बड़ा बहुत घटिया चीज है यार ये गाड़ी खेल रही है भाई ये ये कॉलेज कैंपस अरे सालो अरे टेस्ला ठोक दे प्यारी नहीं है लुक्स लाइक अ फिश टू मी बेबी कोई नहीं यार या तुम भी मेरी तरह बच्चियों से अम्मियों पे आ गए हो <laughs> भाई इधर तो जाना था गाने इतना है, गाना खत्म ही नहीं होना एक आधा भी नहीं ओ भाई मेरा खुद ई पे लगा हुआ भाई थोड़ी इधर ले आए हैं गैस भी नहीं बढ़ाई देखो कितने स्मार्ट हो तुम घर जाके अब्बा को बोलना अब्बा बड़े दिनों तुम्हें मैंने कैमरे चलाते भी नहीं देखा ना ना घर जाके अब्बा को बोलना अब्बा बड़े दिनों तुम्हें कैमरे चलाते भी नहीं देखा जाओ कैमरे चलाओ जरा भाई इस साइड से आना पड़ेगा हमें भी नहीं भाई तुमने वो नहीं देखा मैंने देखा I don't think so easy here, man. ये ये यू इस तरफ नहीं पार करता है मतलब वो दफा जेफ स्टेट के खावे अगले ने I think वाया नहीं आज उठा वाया नहीं है या yeah, is sleeping maybe ये नहीं खड़ी Is that it? नहीं हेलो भाई हाँ हेलो कहाँ पर हो भाई मैं बस अभी क्लास से निकला अच्छा आई थिंक वो जा रहा था नहीं नहीं वो नहीं हम तेरे तरफ ही आए थे मेरी जान इधर क्यों पार करेगा बैक साइड में कैसा पार की है हाँ हम आ रहे हैं चलो गाड़ी से मारते हैं फिर अगर आ ही रहे हो तो मेरा रोजा मैं नहीं जोड़नी घुमा लो घुमा लो पता नहीं भाई मैं तो कहता हूँ उधर ही चलते हैं उस साइड पे ये किधर लगा रहा है अच्छा ये कितना गंदा कलर है फ्रंट ट्रक मैन लुक एट दिस शर्ट कैमरा भी फ्लिप कर सकता है आई मीन यू आर राइट बट ओके सम टाइम मी ब्रेन नो वर्किंग पर इतना तूने सी बड़ा टूड़ा मारा 360 और आराम से बंदे का पुत्र मान ओ भाई इसको पीछे से गाड़ी मारो उसका गाड़ी प्यारा है पीछे से ना मसला बन जाएगा भाई ना करो हाँ ये भी है कार जाके जो कुट पड़नी है वो अलग भाई पैना रोमेक भाई पैना रोमेक लोंडे मीर ने किधर अरे सोजी मैं कर तू सुना यार रोज़ा रखे हैं यार इसका मेरी जान पुक लगी इस कॉलेज आए हैं कैंपस मुंडे मेरे सामने पीजे बर्गर फ्राइजन सारे ने ऐसे ही टपके मार रहे हैं ये होती है स्ट्रगल्स ऑफ अ मुस्लिम इन अ फॉरेन कंट्री भाई ठीक है स्पेशली समबडी लाइक मी समबडी हु लाइक्स टू वर्क हार्ड एवरीडे माय जिम तो यार लिटरली आई डिड नॉट स्किप अ सिंगल डे विद हिम एंड रमजान आ गया यार लाइक दिस इज जस्ट मुझे तो अम्मी ने मना किया है अम्मी कहती है डू नॉट गो टू जिम बिकॉज़ तू ऑलरेडी खत्म है लाइक देयर इज नथिंग इनसाइड यू अपने आप को एग्जॉस्ट करेगा चांस ऑफ यू पासिंग आउट मैं कह रहा ये भी है जस्ट व्हाट आई टोल्ड हर मैन शी वाज लाइक ना आई डोंट वांट टू हियर और सी दैट यू वर इन द जिम ए ए ए 
साले उन्होंने बोलना ये कौन है दानियाल बादवानी कौन है पुत्र तेरे बेटे कहना है मेरा कोई बेटा नहीं है दानियाल नाम का भाई तेरे बेटे छुट्टी तेरे बेटे डली करा देना छुट्टी करा देनी तेरे बेटे से पार करें पीछे मेरी गाड़ी खड़ी है जान जान जब लगेगी तो आवाज आएगी ए धड़ोल चलो आए आए सदका अबे शीशा ऊपर कर ले हां ये भी है रोजा रखा है हां जी बिल्कुल रखा है जी रोजा पूरा पूरा रोजा भाई जान आ रात रखे आ देखो रोजा एक नंबर वालेकुम सलाम सर की हाल है अल्लाह का शुक्र है अल्लाह का शुक्र लगे हैं बस आस्ता आस्ता लगे हैं बस हैवी गुंडा कह रहा है हाय गुंडे रोजा पर मंदा से रोजा रखे कि नहीं जे नहीं आ जाए तो तुम लोग की ताड़ी हो गई पाकिस्तान दो तीन पास कराओ मुझे भी करा दो यार मुंह सूख गया खुदा की कसम रवा साहब रोजा रखे किथे फ्रिज च या कडो कडो ओ वाकई गडियल देख रहे है यार ओए होए होए 6 घंटे बाद सैरी है सेकंड रोजे की ओ भाई साहब और हमारी इधर जो है 6 घंटे बाद 6 7 घंटे बाद अफतारी है दूसरे रोजे की हम तो लोगों से एक रोजा दिन आगे हैं और ईद भी मारे तो लोगों से पहले ही होनी है यार मैं नासा के लिए अप्लाई कर रहा हूँ मैं नासा वास अप्लाई कर रहा हूँ नासा में बना लिया मैं मैं रहा ही लग रहा है उस्ताद मैं मैं फाड़ लो मैं पागल हो लगा जे और मैं मैं तलाज सटो मेरे मुँह से पानी पाओ तो बेड़ा गर्क जे <laughs> ना करो वैसे मजे की गल दसा मैं किते काम पानी पी के रोजा रखो अल्लाह दी कसम पे पूरा दिन बंदा सुकून ना रहंदा सुबह जे एक पराठे ते दही चाढ़या ना जोरी प्यास लगदी उस तो बाद ओए होए होए मैं तो सुबह बहना राशन खत्म करन घर दा मैं तो करना बस जो जो है दे दियो सिर्फ ताली दे टाइम मकना पड़े पड़े हो सारे भाई बस खाना होना चाहिए था पाई जाओ बस फिर क्लास भी जाना उद अगर दो हाथ शत पे काफी नहीं तो आओ शोल जाके सर टाइम लाओ अपना उते फिर टलंडा जाना ओ वाले के पढ़ान चुकन ओ भ्रा आ गया वापस चंगा हो गया यार ओ लाइक क्यों नहीं करदे ओ बेड़े खरे जेड़े की हो गया जे लाइक तो करो साले ओ हैं चलो ज्यादा ट्रैफिक तो नहीं मिलनी चाहिए भाई हां कितने बजे निकलोगे मैं इधर से घर जाऊंगा घर तो तकरीबन घंटा बैठ के करेक्ट दूसरी क्लास जो है उधर फिजिक्स की नहीं ले देखता हूं यार सोच रहा हूं क्योंकि अगर अगर आप 4 बजे भी निकले तो उधर क्यों 5 होता है तब 
पाकिस्तान की तरह बड़ा मसला देसिया साढ़े पाकिस्तान को बारू आ रहे एयरपोर्ट से पहुंच जाते अगले ढोल लैके सुबह छे बजे जी उन्हें आना शामी अठ बजे आ सुबह छे बजे ढोल लैके बैठे जी एयरपोर्ट से ढोलों वाले भी बैठे ने सैडा से यह जड़े बखड़े फुल फाड़ के जी आ रहे जी यार खुदा का सवाल आने दो जिन्हें आना उन्हें आ जाना बखड़ी सा एक्साइटमेंट है बिल्कुल जी बिल्कुल पैसे पैसे छापने ने सी चार बंदे देख रहे सर जिन्होंने दुनिया कोई काम ही नहीं हो वाकई देख रहे हो नहीं 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 यार दो नंबरी कर गया अपना बंदा ये देखो हमें तो अपनों ने लूटा गैरों में कहाँ दम था है रमजान ना होता था नदी पैन पाकिस्तान ची सारे ब्रांड हाँ भाई रमजान के मिलेंगे गालियाँ कंट्रोल है हर चीज़ कंट्रोल है छः वक्त नमाजी एवरी भाई भाई हुआ भाई इस वक्त पूरा तो नहीं मैं क्या वापस वक़्त नमाजी मेहरबानी सर मेहरबानी ट्वेंटी के कंप्लीट हुए अबे टू के भाई हो जाएंगे हो जाएंगे वेरी क्लोज यही कह रहा है मुझे तो पता ही नहीं है आई मीन थर्सडे को है अभी तक अल्लाह दी कसम उस क्लास में हम जिस दिन से आए हैं वो तीन दफा ही गए हैं और 90% परसेंटेज चल रही है क्लास में मेरी 88 चल रही है क्योंकि चैट जीपीटी में 90% आता है नाइट तो करता है ऐसे समझ नहीं आ अरे उसके सामने बैठ के वो फोटो खींच साल मजे पता क्या बात है सारी कॉन्फिडेंस की असली उस सामने लता 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 ना अकेले आड़े नया पिक्चर ना वो उसको लगता है कि बच्चे जो है सामने बैठे हैं कुछ नहीं करेंगे जो सामने बैठे हैं वही सब तो बड़े अभी रोजा रखा हुआ तो मैं अच्छी जुबान में समझाता कि क्या करते हैं हम उसके साथ मेरे को दिलवाया है भाई साहब यार मुझे समझ नहीं आई मैं तो सेम आंसर एटी एट मेरे नाइनटी बंद <laughs> इंजन की खूबी ना महारते ड्राइवर बस चली जा रही है खुदा के सहारे उस्ताद वो चली जा रही है खुदा के सहारे वो भाई आया है कहता है भाई बंद हो जाती है चलते हुए मैं क्या उस मैं क्या रैम पे क्या गाड़ी बंद मैं खुदा दास वाह भाई तुरंत साइड पे ले लिया बंद हुई तुरंत मार दिया ये हालात है गाइस तुम लोग कहते हो अमेरिका हो गड्डिया नहीं चल रही है गड्डी बंद हो जाती है जुलम हो रहा है बिजली लास्ट टाइम 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 पंचर पंचर हो 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 गया उमर का जावेद भाई ने टिक कर जा टायर टायर चेंज किया यार उधर अच्छा इधर चेंज होता है 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 स्पेयर 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 पड़ा मतलब चाहिए वैसे वॉलमार्ट जाकर लव
पंचर की छाप है ज्यादा पैसा देते हैं पंचर कितने का टायर आ जाता है यार पाकिस्तान थोड़ी दस बीस रुपये देखे पंचर वाले है वो आएगा जी पंजा डालर मेरी फीस है मैं डायर टायर लाया तो तू इतने का पेंशन लाया तो थ्री डॉलर था उस पास सत्रह सौ टायर आ जाता है की हो गया उसका तो ग्रिप्स भी नहीं थे उसके पूरे टायर पूरा ब्लैंक थे मतलब जो लाइन से रहते हैं ना उस्ताद वो सीधी गाल है वो गड्डी चलती आनी कोई नहीं सिर्फ लगे ने कमा थे इतना चेहरा देख सकते हो इतना साफ था वो इतना घिसी हुए थे जानी वो कमा थे लगे ना सिर्फ उनकी करे बंदा उन्होंने नहीं तू सोच कर तेज जा रहे हो ना टायर फट जाए फट गया सी ना नहीं वो तेज बात लास्ट लाइन में ही चला रहा था नहीं नहीं दैट्स गुड बट फिर भी देखो यार यू नेवर नो ऊपर चढ़ जाता है लगता नहीं है कर्फ को एग्जैक्टली मेरे घर में बाकी जितनी भी गाड़ी है उनके टायर उनके एलोय अबाए ना टायर अंदर है ये तो गाड़ी नहीं है चलो अभी स्क्रैच नहीं दिखेंगे बाकी के जाती सर जी गाड़ी नहीं तोड़नी की हो गया जी नहीं जा रहे ना यार क्लास ही जा रहे बारह बजे ओए होए फिर देखो मसला ही कोई नहीं अच्छा यार कार वाशा तो जा रही है असल में इधर जा रहे थे लेकिन अब मैं कह रहा हूं घर जा के उधर से धुलवा के सही से एक दो काम काम करके फिर निकल जाऊंगा मेरा तो है ना कार दे कोल एक मेरा तो कार दे कोल एक उस्ताद हो दे हो गया कंप्लीट हो रहा है नहीं नहीं सर अफतारी के टाइम तो बना के पी रहा होएगा ये अफतारी के टाइम में देख लो लबड़ा ही नहीं थानू वेंटिलेटर दे उत्ते हां पीछे रमजान में अफतारी में मैं पीता उस्ताद अजान दा अजान दा मैसेज नोटिफिकेशन आना इने करना ये सारे वेंटिलेटर वाले हैं भाई के बाद जो मजा आता है। ओए, 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 माफ यार। मुझे कभी शौक नहीं पड़ा यार मजाक नहीं कद मैं नवर नवर मैं लोगों को देखता हूँ ना पीते हैं ऐसा जैसे मरण लगे नहीं नहीं मैं कुछ लोग देखता हूँ जो शौकिया पीते हैं भाई के उनको रह ही नहीं सकते पीने बगैर अजीब लगता है भाई देख के मतलब जब छोटे लगता था कूल है भाई धुआं निकल रहा मुँह से ये वो तो तुंदो में जाओ भाई हाँ नहीं यार फिर भी छोड़ो मैं आदा करना यार बेड़ा पीने में तो भाई वीड पियो चर्स पियो टीके लाओ ए की दो नंबर चर्स की हो गया मलक ठीक रोजा ला, रोजा लग गया समझा नहीं नहीं आ, कुछ भी नहीं करना चाहिए भाई क्या करना है क्या करना है मेरे तो भाई एक घंटे की नींद मिली हुई है ठीक है सीधी बात है तो मैं अगर पास आउट हो गया तो मेरी स्ट्रीम बंद नहीं करनी नाल मेरा कैमरा नहीं रख देना चले मैं उठा तो मैं उठा यार मैं सुबह सोया हूँ छः तीस पे अराउंड नहीं छः तीस पे नहीं सात तीस पे हाँ जी अम्मी ने मुझे उठा दिया नौ बजे वाइट चेक और कितने वेख ली वाइट चेक किधर है वाइट चेक मुझे भी चाहिए वाइट चेक किधर है हाँ माइक की शर्म नहीं आई शर्म नहीं आई वाइट चेक है कितने वेख ली वाइट चेक अस मोमेंट हो गया भाई किधर है भाई मेरे को भी वाइट चेक चाहिए आज उसकी भी क्लास है भाई स्पीकिंग की ओ वाड़ गए पहन चो उसकी साइन नेक्स्ट स्पीच कब है उसकी होगी अभी वो मेरे ख्याल से वो लेगी इंटरव्यू लेगी पर्सनली इंटरव्यू मैं तो रेडी हूं मैं तो रेडी हूं पर्सनल इंटरव्यू तो मैं रेडी हूं जिसने कैमरा पकड़ा है अच्छा क्या नाम है क्या नाम था भाई उसका क्या नाम है किसका इंस्ट्रक्टर केडी एल्ड्रेज एल्ड्रेज क्या है 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 मेरी गिब्सन अच्छा अच्छा नहीं नहीं ये ये भी अच्छी 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 मतलब भाई चल रहा है ना जब भाई आज तो बो याद ए पाग थोड़ा करना है ज्यादा मत कर तू मेरे को खाली देख मैं कर रहा हूं हां मैं तेरे को खाली देखूं भाई वाह भाई लोग देख रहे हैं ये क्या कर रहा लड़का इसको देखी जा रहा है देखिए एक्सक्यूज मी 
थोड़ा करना ना देख मैं देखूंगा तो अनकंफर्टेबल फील करेगा तू मैं नहीं चाहता तू आर्म्स कर लेना जिम करीब हम्म जिम करीब हां मैं ऐसे फोन अपनी ले के रखा कैमरा चल भाई एक एल्डन रिंग व्हाट द है की हो गया की देख लिया ओए अहमद सादिक की कह रहे ने नेटवर्क करो ओए खुदा दा सवाल जे रमजान दा महीना <laughs> कैसे बंदे है यार शर्म भी नहीं आंदी चलो पहले 2000 करो फिर थानू गुजरा वे ते करके वहांगे चले अभी दूसरी क्लास में ठीक है जाना ही पेगा चलो भाई मिल जनाब गड्डी तो आओ तुसी बसंती नु लाओ सोना भरा भरा गड्डी देखियो आखे क्या बात है सोने आ सफेद रिया साफ गड्डी चाहिदी आ एगी आ <laughs> चलो यानी मिलते हैं इंशाल्लाह ओए किस दिन अफतारी का सीन करते हैं कोई सही है ओ सॉरी आई फॉरगॉट दैट चलो हुन माफ कीता बंदे माफ करने वाले चाहिदे आ हैगे आ <laughs> ओए अफतारी करते हैं किस दिन शाम के टाइम होती है देख ले सात बजे अब से बात करनी पड़ेगी बाहर खा सकते हैं ना हम्म ओ भाई ओ भाई क्या भागती है बहन जो वी फोर आई कैन नॉट बिलीव भाई इसका बच्चा गाड़ी में ध्यान से देखा मैंने हां मतलब गाइस कॉलेज में मां बाप जो है अपने बच्चे जो है संभाल रहे हैं गाड़ियों में मतलब कि तुम गाड़ी के पास से गुजरते हो तो आवाज आती है चूटे माया जग छिक जाया चूटे माया मतलब कि गाइस ये लाइफ है इधर लड़कों की वो परेशान है लाइफ को लेके के भाई बच्चे हैं उनके हाथों में वो लाइफ के बारे में सोच दे नो फ्यूचर भाई वो जो छोटा सा दो बाई तीन का साइज का बंदा पकड़ा उन्होंने हाथ में वो वो ए, ए, पापा मामा कर रहा है वो भाई ये नतीजे हैं ये नतीजे हैं इस उम्र में जल्दी उम्र में जो है ना वो जिगी जिगी करने वाले तो खुदा का सवाल है ये काम नहीं कर रहे बच्चा बनाओ बच्चा बनाओ पच्चीस छब्बीस के बाद भाई जब खुद ही स्टेबल हो अभी सर बेड़ा गर्क हुआ हुआ है कुछ नहीं कर सकते अब ये क्लास नहीं ले पा रहे बच्चा रोड़ा भाई गाड़ी में तो मुझे बता दिया करो मुझे याद करा दिया करो इट्स अ गुड थिंग हमें कंट्रोलिंग करनी है भाई पूरा साल जो है गालियां दे दे के अभी बंदे के दिमाग में कोशिश भी कर ले बंदे को बंदे को याद नहीं जाता फिर भी गाइस ये वैसे कोई बंदा अपना बुर्श फेंक गया किसी ने दांत साफ करने तो बताओ <laughs> हाँ भाई मुझे पता लोड हो रही थी सब रखो अभी दूसरी क्लास में जा रहे हैं बेड़े गड़क है यार तो मुझे समझ नहीं आती ना पहन जो इधर आओ टाइम जाया करो अपना अजीब माधर जो <coughs> सोच पता चल बी ए पेपर <laughs> फिर स्ट्रीम बंद करनी पड़ेगी
Lahola la cuba está en la mano. Pichile, pichile, tú, pero ese es el de la clase. ¿Qué tú fijas? I think it's a test. Exam, you never know. You never know. We do. What's the last thing I'll have you know? Come here, trail tears. Yes, sir. How do you spell it? It's not tidy. No, y'all don't know because you left earlier. Oh, we were talking about this. Sure. You might have a Oh, Well, someone was paying attention. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so some of... Which somebody needed to be done? Which somebody needed to be Successful than others at resisting colonial uh, domination or intervention, at least. Um, we and we talked about Ethiopia being one of those that's successful. Um, not so much the Magic Manager Rebellion, King of Wally, um, that did not uh, result in a very positive resolution. In fact, over 100,000 Africans were killed. Um, so after World War One, German and East Africa becomes the Tanzania, uh, which is the country it is today, although it didn't win its independence until 1961. Okay, let's go to American, the American Revolution, I mean, the, uh, what's happening in America now. And uh, so ever since the uh, American Revolution, you've had um, American, white Americans have been moving to West. And, um, just look at the map here. You see, uh, this is by the American Revolution. This all was the United States. And then 1803, you had the purchase, Louisiana Purchase uh, from France, which is going to double the size basically of the United States. And that's going to put more pressure on Indian tribes to move further to the West. And this, this movement is called. Manifest destiny. It's almost like America has this this destiny to move west and to you know, and to be able to nothing nothing bro. basically just take them on themselves and say, oh, no, you got to move. 
So it didn't permit the president or anybody else to coerce native people to give up their land. So Jackson just kind of ignored it. He felt like you know he thought the Indians were savages and they didn't they didn't work, they didn't preserve their own land basically. Uh, so as a hundred thousand of them made that trip of the trail tears, some ten thousand are thought to have died in the process. So that's uh, probably one of the most uh, egregious cases of removing the Indians out of their ancestral lands. You see here this painting, American Progress, 1872. You see some glimpses of what we're talking about here. You have this female figure. She actually seems to be floating. She's kind of a uh, represents kind of an angel almost. This kind of divine figure. And she kind of represents the march of civilization. You see how much lighter it is over here, and it's dark here. Uh, um, you also see some uh, like check it out, check it out. here, you've got buffalo, you've got bear, here you've got tank horses, here cows, here farming, you've got the telegraph. Uh, science book here, education, technology, steam, all these things are moving to the West and Don't talk clearing to out the a bygone era. Oh, okay. so kind of hold on, hold on. Let's do it again. Let's really do it again. Accurately represents what we mean by manifest destiny. Okay, now uh, in. Um, Gradually, these Indians are going to be confined to smaller and smaller res reservations. Now, eventually, there's going to be a cultural revival that's going to take place, and one of the ones uh, responsible for that is a, a native by the name of Woboka. And Woboka basically emphasized hard work and peaceful living. It would unite Native Americans, and their land would come back, and the buffalo would come one, back. Two, three, and, four. Which two do you like? Uh, not only hard work and peaceful living, but the ghost dance was pretty cool. And this is when the Indians would get together in these circles, and they would do a dance. And it was, it was kind of calling upon the ancestors to intervene on their behalf. And the idea is that the ancestors would like? come back, the white man would leave, and the buffalo would come back. And um, so, I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how You gave me the answer. I didn't have to ask you, bro. The entire time, you did not pick that chord. Yeah. Okay. Good bro. That's not All right, so we okay. have, I thought okay. we were kind of touched on this topic too, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so Sitting Bull was actually killed before, just a few days before um, 1890, before Wounded Knee. The sitting bull killed December 15th. The incident at Wounded Knee was December 27th of 1890. So that's where over 200 were put in. Women and children, most of women and children were killed. So this is the most uh, horrendous example of treatment by the American government against the Native people. So there's so many bad, you know, there's so many difficult stories here, so many, um, but, you know, you can from too. the white perspective, that's what we're kind of looking at here, the, the people who were in the world, they had to be moved out, they had to be removed. Um, and that's the same way that, that's the same thought process that we see in all these other different so examples of that, whether you're talking about the Maji Maji Rebellion, in uh, Tanzania, where you talk about the Boxer Rebellion in China. Um, some of them were more successful than others, but you just have a grand scheme of these European powers, including the United States, 
you know, flexing their muscles and pushing Native people out and taking advantage of these resources and land and uh, all over the place. Is that it? And there is a, uh, no, that's not the card. It's the card. I thought I messed up, I swear to God. Okay, now let's go to Maju Rebellion. 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 Maju so what I've done here, a little bit differently, I've underlined some kind of key provisions of the outline just to kind of focus really on the main uh, important uh, aspect about each of these points. So going back to China, you know, most Asian nations were shocked by what Britain had done to China. They had the, you know, the Boxer Rebellion, they had crushed. It sort of, uh, a lot of people have demonstrated European technology over China's technology. And basically what happens is that the Japanese decide that, well, it's better to join them than, than to be defeated. Right? We need to become more like Europe. We need to modernize just like Europe, and that's what they're going to begin to do. So they're determined not to fall behind as China has. Okay? So, so they have this, begin this political transformation that's going to change China from more of a traditional type civilization to a modern industrial nation state that will rival European nations both economically and militarily. Now until the mid 19th century, that would be the 1800s, the emperor in Japan had had an emperor for a long time, but he was largely just a figurehead. Most power lay with what's called, who is called the shogun. Okay. The shogun is a military leader who held power as a man. hereditary dictator for the most part. Okay. Now you've got the, you've got the shogun, kind of like the head guy, and under him, he's kind of like the king almost. And under him, so like, it's almost like the feudal system in Europe that if you took Western Civil one and our, yeah, we talk about the feudal system. You've got the king, and you've got these lords, and under them you have knights. Same way here. You've got the feudal lords called daimyos. They control land. Some of that land is controlled by the samurai here. So this is the, kind of the, the educated military class who were given land in return for the service or for a daimyo. So very similar to the feudal system. So the, the uh, last shogunate is the Tokugawa family. They took control of the shogunate around 1600. Very, uh, very suspicious of any kind of foreign influence. In fact, they signed into law the Act of Seclusion in 1636, which made it illegal to trade with Europeans. So this is this is the traditional path, right? Closed-minded path. This is not the Meiji Restoration. Meiji Restoration is an act against this, changing this into a more progressive, modern-day sort of direction. Um, part of what kind of stimulates this is the United States. Because while these policies did last for over 200 years, they really can't block the foreign interference forever. I'll put the top top. And on, on the July 8, 1853, switch this guy right here, the top two and you can say it any sequence. Commodore Perry put, 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 switch, put. presented say. Japan with, shall we trade or shall we fight message. And so he basically sends in the ships, and these are battleships here, and you see them here, they're more battleships. These battleships, no longer are they mainly uh, pushed along by sail. They still have sails on, but now the main power is going to be steam. So what are you doing in the And then the once you get a few more years from, from now, especially if you get toward World War I, you're going to see these masts totally gone. You know, do it again. No, do it again. Do it again. That's yeah. going to be the, the only way that these ships are going to move is through steam. But this is kind of a uh, okay. halfway point. They're using this sails, but also they're using so you got five, eight, five, six, seven, 
No one can guess that. They, and they were split between some of the samurais who wanted to support get this number. the traditional way and some samurais who wanted to blow his mind, bro. a new way. Ready? That new way would be Ready. embracing the emperor because at this point he's kind of a figurehead and that's it. But if we can get behind the emperor who can be the head man to lead us in this new direction, that's where we want to go. <laughs> Revere the emperor, expel the barbarian. Kind of the so this is the problem. The magicians are kind of the right. Well, the treaty that's going to open up Japan is the Treaty of Kanagawa, March 31st, 1854. Opens up trade with American vessels, protects sailors, vessels in Japan, and creates a embassy in Japan. This is the I'm first time you can read your into um, into Japan, 1854. That's that's even before the uh, uh, the American Civil War, which doesn't break out until 1865. So Tugawa Shinobu, he's the last shogun. This is not him. This is Meiji here, Emperor Meiji. Um, but he lost support, and the emperor now becomes the sovereign leader of Japan, and the authority lay with all of his advisors, the samurai advisors. So Meiji, Emperor Meiji, April 17, 1868, announced something called the Charter Oath. So recognizing that the emperor is the head of the supreme leader of Japan, and there are five main points here. Creation of assemblies where people can come and vote, so they do have some voting rights. Public discussion, two, three. People from all classes could participate. Four, people could pursue jobs that they wanted instead of traditional class specific occupations. And five, new government pledged to open and seek out knowledge all over the world and improve and empower. Like I said at the beginning, instead of resisting foreign influence, embracing foreign influence, and taking advantage of it, and using it to your own advantage, that's kind of what they want to do. That's what the Meiji Restoration is all about. Different So, uh, we talked about the dining but under the uh, these regional armies, that you, know, you had the you had the shogun, right, the main one, and then you had the daimyos. They were kind of like the feudal lords. That's what it was, but now under the Meiji, you've got a national army that's all re uh, responding to the emperor. And all males are required to serve in the military. So they're embracing new ideas and technologies from the West, from Europe. And we're going to use that to find two wars. The first war is going to be against China, the second one is going to be against Japan. Russia, but it's both over Korea. You can see Korea is not far from Japan, only about 150 miles. And this war, the first one is called the Sino-Japanese War, and Sino just refers to China. China. It's another word for China, essentially. China. So they're going to win that war. Korea becomes a Japanese colony, as a result of it. Remains so until 1945. And then Russia gets in the picture because Russia can't believe Japan has made this move into a new era. And Russia is going to take advantage of it, or what they think is they're going to take advantage. And Russia is very close right here, so they attack Korea, they attack the Japanese in Korea. And the Russo Japanese War is also going to be a victory for the Japanese, which seems if, if the Sino Japanese, Japanese War sent shockwaves through the world, the Russian Japanese does it even more because here we've got the first time we're in a, um, well, it's not the first victory, but it's the first substantial victory of an Asian nation over a European nation. It basically puts the world on notice that European militaries are not invincible, that they can be challenged and can be defeated. What did it accomplish? 
it's well, it's not really the bottom up revolution here, like the French Revolution, the Third State, the Belgian Revolution. This is kind of like the Was in a position, had been there for a long time, but they really had the power that he now becomes. He now sees the default. And that's because he's got support from a lot of the higher class, the young samurais who are supporting. But it transforms Japan, right? It makes it into a modern day country. New opportunities, new jobs, new educational opportunities. And as a consequence, Japan becomes this world power. So one of the first modern battleships that are Japan actually like, constructed. So you have no sails anymore. These are just lines that help. help uh, well, it does look like it does have sails. Maybe it did, but I don't think it's very much not to use that much. Before long, you can see that he disappeared. Okay, now, all right, so that takes us to the end of that part. So let's move on and look at what's happening with England and another power that they're having trouble, they're going to be having trouble with, and that's with the Irish. So if you're on the map, we all know where England is, and hopefully we all know where Ireland is. If you don't, it's right there. Ireland, and um, so we go from about we're, this. This story takes us from, from about 1800 to 1921, where we're going to focus on the last. Really, our main focus is going to be from 1916 to 1921. Well, let's go back and look at a little bit of history here. But let's get a let's first just determine why the Irish would be rebelling against the English in the first place. Well, for centuries, I mean, going back to the 1300s, uh, England had dominated Ireland. So what that meant was that Catholics in Ireland is mostly Catholic. They were denied their rights to worship as they wanted to. They couldn't vote. They couldn't speak their language, which is Gaelic. Gaelic and English both are today taught in Irish schools pretty much together, about the same amount of time. Gaelic is not a, a uh, Germanic language like English is. Gaelic is a Celtic language. So you got, uh, you got Gaelic, Celtic, you got English, that Germanic. You've got French and Spanish that are romantic languages, so different language families. They couldn't own land, their own land. Between 1945 and 1952, there was an Irish famine. And what the British had done was to make less and less land available to the Irish to grow their own food for survival. In other words, only about five acres max would a family maximum have for growing their own food. And it's really not a lot of land, five acres, to have a large family. And you may actually be sharing that with another family, so it just kind of depends on the arrangement. But, and then to make, that, make matters worse, the British began to force them to, uh, well, only on those five acres could they grow food, food that would sustain them, right? The other lands, the other acreages, they would grow wheat, oats, and barley to be exported to England, and then England would export that to other places. So, you have such a small amount of land that you want to grow a crop that's going to give you the most nutrition. And the most nutrition is based on uh, plant that grew in this area was the potato. Now potato is very rich in nutrients. Maybe that's why. Give me one. Vitamin A. Um, it's uh, pretty easy to grow. But he's starting. Uh, but it is susceptible. You got one crop, one plant, and it, it can be susceptible to disease. And a blight is the potato crop early as 1945, and that the famine is going to result in the last. 1852, it's estimated that close to a million Irish died as a result of that. And this is when you get a lot of Irish migrants. You know, America has a very large immigrant you know, 
from my family came from Ireland. Didn't come from my father's side of the family came from Ireland. I think a little bit later than the Irish famine, but that's apparently 1880s, I think, was my first. My great, great, great grandfather came over from Ireland. Actually, the story is that he killed a guy in a boat pub fight. <coughs> Don't make me mad because I have some anger in me. Some violence, I guess. I Damn. Somewhere. Somewhere. I swear to God, he had slaves. Uh, so anyway, they're dying. I'm totally, totally dependent on the potato. When the white hit, the potato, the potato would just shrink up and turn black and just no good. So just, um, but anyway, that's what happens. A lot of them perish as a result of that. So it's a really powerful story. So let's just kind of introduce this. Well, that's the background to it, these rights that they're struggling for. But on Easter Monday, April 24, 1916, the Irish Republic was established. And along with some 1,600 followers, they stayed a rebellion against the British government. And uh, this, um, and this is going to be suppressed by the British troops. So more than 2,000 people were either killed or injured. The leaders were executed. Um, and in 1921, a treaty was signed that established the Irish Free State, which ultimately became the, the Republic of Ireland. So that's kind of just an introduction. That's kind of the holistic. So let's look at some of these individual pieces here. Okay, so the Easter Rising background, the Union of the Act of Union in 1800, and what this does was it created Great Britain, the Act of Union. So Great Britain consists of England, Wales, Scotland up here, and Ireland. That's the Act of Union. So that's all that's the United Kingdom of Great Britain. So it's the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. So as a result of that, the Irish lose their own government in Dublin, and there's Dublin right here. So they had their own government until they weren't part of Great Britain. But now that they are part of Great Britain, so what's going to happen is the British are going to give them a number of seats in the regular English Parliament here. Um, so, you know, I'm, I don't remember how many seats, maybe 30 to 40 seats. So that comes from you, that comes from the Irish. Okay, but that's all you have. And of course, you're not going to, that's not enough to turn the tide in any kind of direction, any, in their direction. Um, and then there's a lot of uh, disagreement as to what should happen. Should England, should these moderate nationalists, supported what's called home rule, and that means they'll remain part of the United Kingdom, but they'll also have some self-government. And that bill was passed in 1914, but it was it was uh, not implemented because the war broke out in 1914. That's the uh, World War I. It goes from 1914 to 1814. But that's the first move towards creating some kind of home rule remain part of Great Britain, but some self-government at home. So nobody at this point really is advocating complete independence from Ireland. This only comes a little bit later. Uh, there is Westminster Parliament in London. The Irish Republican Brotherhood, the IRB, now, they supported complete independence for Ireland. And they began to plan what would become the Easter Rising right here in April of 2016. So they began to plan for that. Now, they're looking for allies. So one of the countries that they hope to get an ally from or hope to be an ally is Germany because Germany was fighting England. World War One, England, France were, were allies. The United States later joined the war against Germany and Italy. La Parlida. 
Germany, Italy, and um, um, Austria. Austria is good. Austria is a good player at this point. And in fact, there was this guy by the name of Roger Casement. He was an Irish nationalist who had arranged for a shipment of arms to be sent from Germany to Ireland. But that message was found out and he, it was deciphered and it was scuttled. So no arms was sent, but he was charged with espionage and treason and he was executed for that. So the British are, you know, don't want, they're not for Irish independence, right? The British want Ireland to remain part of their Will you dip down? <laughs> Sorry, God. Same thing, bro. So the uprising then, April 1916, mainly takes place in Dublin. So if we look at Dublin again, get our map right. Here's Dublin, right in the center part of Ireland. This is right on the Irish Sea. So it took place in April of 1916. Um, now he had what's called the Irish Citizen Army. So they have, yeah, so, um, so these nationalists basically are proclaiming independence. They seize the post office in Dublin. That's the main governmental building in Dublin. They seize that building and other smaller buildings and then this guy by the name of Patrick Peirce declares Ireland, he was a leader in the unionism, in the independence movement. He declared Ireland an independent republic. So he's just like, we're independent. We're not part of, we're not part of uh, Great Britain anymore. So that's gonna cause all hell to break loose and you're gonna have violence breaking out. Um, British declared martial law. Uh, the rebels were crushed, some 450 people were killed, 2,000 others were wounded, and much of Dublin is destroyed, or at least the center part of the city, you can see, is, you see a picture of it there. So the British are cracking down heavily on this. They don't want to see this independent movement be successful. Because England gets a lot of tax revenue from Ireland. They get a lot of tax benefits from Ireland. They want Ireland to remain part of Great Britain although they don't want to give up any rights to the Irish. They want to keep them under wraps and keep them doing what they're supposed to be doing, what traditionally they've been doing. Um, so these leaders are gathered up. Some of them are going to be executed. You see there by firing squad. You see a picture there. You see one here. Remember who this is, one of their top leaders, going to be executed, they're about to be shot. Um, other ones are going to be arrested, they're going to sent, be sent to England without trial. Some 1,800 people sent to England without trial. So you've got execution, you've got mass arrest, you've got martial law that are put into place. Okay. So this foments creates a lot of resentment for the British now. Things begin to build and build and build. And there's a greater move for Irish independence now as England begins to treat them very harshly. Uh, and certainly in their point of view, and it's kind of hard not to, to uh, see that. So in 1918, so these are just kind of bullet points here. So since we get going through several sort of episodes here, we got, so this is, yeah, 1818, the political organization called Sinn Féin. Sinn Féin is the oh, get like emblem of Sinn Féin here. Sinn Féin is a, Celt, is a Gaelic uh, word. It means um, ourselves alone. We ourselves, or we alone, exactly. I'm not sure the exact translation of that, but that's basically it. Us alone, basically. And their goal is to create a republic. Okay? So they want a majority of the Irish seats. Remember, at this point, 
Yeah, Ireland is not independent. It has not been recognized by Great Britain as being independent. Yeah, they declared themselves independent, right? And they were peers, he said. He stood up on the steps of the post office and said, we are independent. They drafted a, in, a statement of independence, but just like Great Britain, just like the Declaration of Independence, Great Britain didn't recognize that, right? So that's why they had to be a war. So Great Britain doesn't recognize England, uh, Ireland's statement of independence. So, um, so Sinn Féin then, they won the majority of the Irish seats, let's say, well, overwhelming majority, probably like 90% or more of them. And instead of saying, okay, we're going to be leading, we're going to be representing Ireland in, our, in the British Parliament, they just say that we are, we are independent. We, we are, and we're not going to stay here, we're not going to stay in Westminster, in London, we're going to go to Dublin, and we're going to set up shop in our home place in Dublin, okay? because we are an independent state, we are an independent country. So they're going to con convene a single chamber parliament and declare Ireland's independence. Now, the British government doesn't recognize it, right? So just like the American Revolution, you've got to fight for it. This is what the Irish do. They launched a guerrilla war against the British government. And there was a July 1921 ceasefire, and they agreed to a treaty signed in December of 21 that established an Irish free state, okay. self-governing nation of the British Commonwealth. Six of these counties opt out of it, though. Six said, we don't want to do that. We're going to be part of what's called Northern Ireland. The rest of these counties, 26 of them, and that's why I have, um, yeah, well, I'll have it down here a little bit later, anyway. Um, and that's kind of the beginning of the independence movement right now. It's not official yet because the British have not agreed to it. And there's still going to be some warfare going. But that's when they officially declare oh, that we are a free state. Okay. This was done by Sinn Féin, the major party for independence. Now that's been official. It's going to take a long time. This is not officially agreed, uh, sanctioned, or officially recognized in 1949. Now, you do have the Anglo-Irish Treaty, which will recognize it, but a formal formal proclamation wasn't really registered until 1949. Okay, so this brings us to the main leader of independence, and it's this guy here, Michael Collins. If you ever want to watch a good movie uh, about this, it's a, a movie called Michael Collins. It was made probably about 20 years old now, but Leo Neeson uh, plays Michael Collins in this movie. Uh, it's really a great movie. Uh, have some any free time you want. If you're interested in the subject, you're not going to check it out. I think it won. I know it won at least one Academy Award. Maybe more than that. So he's famous for his leadership in the independence movement, and he has in his right hand uh, arm, or his right arm, the Irish Republican Army. You see these guys right there with the uh, with the face mask. With the, Knit, they, knit guards over their face, whatever you call it. <gasps> um, and he is going to direct the military campaign to make the, make the English officially recognize this. Okay. So uh, that means violence. American Revolution meant violence, and this means violence. Right? It's, hard to, it's hard to declare an independence movement from a country without violence. Because most of the time, that country is not going to recognize what you want to do, and they're going to try to stop it. The same way here. So in November of 1920, he led a. He is responsible for the targeting and killing of 14 British officers in Dublin. And the next day, the British they kind of got revenge and killed between I think it was around 12 to 14 members of, of, of a uh, at a football game. A soccer game, a Gaelic soccer game, and that was referred to as Bloody Sunday. Um, 
famous Bloody Sunday, uh, November 21. Uh, 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 yeah, November 21st, I think. Uh, is that the day? I can't remember the exact day. Maybe it was the 22nd. Anyway, that's what it was. And there you see the football game, and that was before it happened. People were exiting the stadium when it happened. The shots rang out, and then a number of uh, the soccer spectators were wounded, and a number of them were killed. Okay, so then we have the signing of the Idol Anglo Irish Tree, June 21. So this is the tree that's going to. Well, it's, uh, Collins is mainly responsible for that, and you see him there signing the treaty. So he leads the peace conference at, in London, which resulted in the Irish Anglo-Irish Treaty of December 1921. So this officially brings the Irish Free State into existence. But again, it goes back to that original agreement earlier with Sinn Féin, which said that only, we're not talking about all of Ireland, we're only talking about 26 counties in the southern part of Ireland and in the western part of Ireland. The six counties up here remain part of the UK. They're still like that today. They're still like that today. Yeah. And this is Northern Ireland. This is the rest of Ireland. So Dublin, the capital of Ireland today, is in the Republic of Ireland. It's not in, it's not in Northern Ireland. I took a group of students about five years ago up here to uh, we did a little Irish cultural history uh, class. And I took these students <coughs> right here, and we stayed in a little town called Bedora, uh, right there on the Atlantic coast. Uh, and we got to go into Northern Ireland. Uh, it's just free passage. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no, uh, you don't have to show your passport or anything. Just go in there and stay. Um, Belfast is the major city in Northern Ireland, and we're Dublin. Also, we went to Dublin too, but uh, that was toward the end of the trip. Um, but we got to see some. Now, there's going to be violence that's going to break out again in the 1960s and 1970s. And that gets into a different subject. We won't go into that. But maybe, uh, you know, yeah, we won't go into that. But, uh, but a lot of that happened in Belfast and some other areas of Northern Ireland. Today, most, you know, it's fairly peaceful. They've been able to work out most of their problems. So these people never wanted to break away from the UK. And why? Well, now it's pretty well evenly split between Protestants and Catholics. And I think Catholics may, may number more than Protestants up here. But back then, back in the early 20th century, Protestants were a good bit more. There were many more Protestants than there were Catholics. And they wanted to remain in Great Britain. And that's kind of what was agreed upon. Michael Collins, uh, so Bloody Sunday was in November 21. August 22nd was when Michael Collins will die. Uh, because what happens after this Anglo-Irish Treaty is that you had violence break, you had an Irish Civil War taking place. Because you had some people who, like the IRA, the Irish Republican Army, they typically were anti-treaty people. They wanted the whole thing. They wanted Northern Ireland to also be part of the Republic of Ireland. Okay, so they opposed the treaty. Michael Collins, though, he's the one who worked out the treaty. He supports the treaty. Okay, so he is going to be assassinated by, by opponents to the treaty, pro-IRA people, soldiers. Uh, is uh, he was headed somewhere with uh, a car full of like three, three or four different vehicles. They came to a roadblock and they couldn't get around it, so they quickly. And they, there were a lot of shrubbery around there, so they knew they were in a dangerous place. And they, they worked as quickly as they could to clear the road. And the shots rang out, and gun battles took place between the two groups. And Michael Collins is is. Uh, his group seemed to get the upper hand, and basically the other guys started retreating. But as soon as they, but as, as they were about to leave, Michael Collins stood up out of his, uh, stood up uh, in the car, because they was, didn't have a, 
didn't have a, a, a roof. And he stood up, and then a, a sharpshooter, a sniper, popped him right there in the head and, uh, and killed him. And they were just about to leave uh, when that happened. So uh, anyway, so that was that. That got needless to say, that got a lot of press all over the place. The, the, the killing of Michael Collins because he was just a well-known figure uh, in, this, in this whole. Uh, whole uh, series of incidences. Okay, um, all right, so that is the, uh, I think that's pretty much the end here. Yeah, well, that is kind of give you a little summary of it right there. But that's the point. Yeah, he was killed instantly. Okay, um, all right guys, so that concludes uh, what I've done here. I think I'll let you go. You can take a picture of this or copy it down if you want, but I put some thoughts up here of uh, writing responses that I may you may write on your exam. So you might want to take a picture of these prompts. It's uh, just general, like, think about these issues, or that would be the exact question, who does say, you know, think about this, these issues as you're kind of going through your notes and doing you know, some study. Okay, so Thursday, we will, we will see you there. Well, it's the topics for now. You said it's an exam, so I wasn't in control. No, well, no. It's a test. No, it's not, 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 no, just the next, you know, yeah. Appreciate it, bro. Next exam. Yeah. Best exam, you know. However you want to say it. All right. Thank you. All right, see you later. Bro, I forgot my AirPods, bro. <laughs> Homie just returned. I was like, yo, you left this. You. W guy, man. Chani chad pal le, man. I am who tere liye. Arey, gojo. I know, I know. I get it. हाँ भाई अब कितने जाना है? चला गया होगा अब तो। तेरे लिए पूछ रहा था। I don't know। भाई क्या तेल लेने मेरी तरफ़? It's not like I'm missing or anything, bro. हाँ भाई बाइड आ गए यार एक और क्लास रहती है। Then I'm going home. एक तो बार बार रीकनेक्ट हो रही है स्ट्रीम मेरा इंटरनेट खराब है जाने दे भाई कौन से गांव में हैं बोल हम्म कौन से गांव में हैं इंटरनेट खराब है नहीं दूसरे गांव है भाई इधर से निकले हैं इस बिल्डिंग से भी उस बिल्डिंग में जाना है यहाँ पे क्लासेस डिफरेंट लिंक्स में होती हैं पाकिस्तान में नहीं I don't know what to do. Pip pip! Pip pip! I'm going to go. Why did you make a song? No audio, Ramadan. No songs. It's one of the classes. Why is this time system? Daylight saving on Sunday. Sunday. It's one of the classes. What do you mean? चलो फिर अरे यहाँ कह रहा है भाई ये भी सही है यार इन एयरपोर्ट्स में ना आवाज बहुत गंदी आती है बॉट क्या है तू तो बॉट कहाँ से हो मैं ही बॉट कहते हैं मुझे मेरे लिए जो दो साल की गेम बहुत अच्छी है मेरे से तो सारे मुझे बॉट कहते हैं सबसे नूब गेम है वो कैसे हो रहा है कहाँ बुधारा आपका 
ਕਹਦਾ ਰੋਦਾ ਕਹਦਾ ਗੁਦਰਾ ਜਾਨੀ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਾਸ਼ਾ ਅਗਲਾ ਅਲਹਮਦੁਲਿਲਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਅੱਛਾ ਗੁਦਰਾ ਰੋਦਾ ਆਮ ਬਾਕੀ ਕੀ ਕਹਤੇ ਹਨ ਬਾਕੀ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਰੱਖਾ ਵਾ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਜਾਨੀ ਪਿਆਸ ਲੱਗ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਅਬ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਪਾਣੀ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੀ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੋ ਬ్రో ਨਥਿੰਗ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਚਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਰੋਜ਼ਾ ਰੱਖੂੰਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਖਾਊਂਗਾ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਪਾਣੀ ਕਾ ਬੰਮ ਯਾਨੀ ਨੋ ਪਾਣੀ ਅਬ ਤੋ ਜਿੰਮ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਮਹੀਨਾ ਬਾਈ ਫਿਰ ਉਸਕੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਜਾਏਂਗੇ 3 ਦਿਨ ਓਕੇ 3 ਦਿਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਵਰ ਕਰੇਗੇ ਯਾ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਮਸ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਅਪਰ ਬਾਡੀ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਲੋਅਰ ਬਾਡੀ ਔਰ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਵਾਲੀ ਬਾਡੀ ਇਧਰ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਮੈਂ ਸਬਕਾ ਵਟਸਐਪ ਵਟਸਐਪ ਲੇਟਸ ਇਸਲਾਮਿਕ ਅਗਰ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਹੋ ਹੋਤਾ ਆਪ ਜੰਨਤੀ ਹੋ ਭਾਈ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਭਾਈ ਕਨਫਰਮ ਜੰਨਤੀ ਹੋ ਕਨਫਰਮ ਜੰਨਤ ਦਾਨਿਆਲ ਕੂਲ ਅਰੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸਰ ਯੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਕੂਲ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਹੈ ਏ ਦਾੜੀ ਆ ਗਈ ਰੈਲੀ ਟ੍ਰਿਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀ ਨਿਕਲ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਇਧਰ ਇਧਰ ਬੜਾ ਉੱਪਰ ਸੇ ਵੀ ਬੜਾ ਇਧਰ ਇਧਰ ਹੀ ਤਾਂ ਬੜਾਨੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਹਾਂ ਇਧਰ ਬੜਾਨੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਬਾਈ ਯਾਰ ਇਹ ਸਿਗਨਲ ਉਹ ਦੇ ਕਬ ਆਏ ਕਮੈਂਟ ਸੇ ਸੇ ਰੀਡ ਕਰੋ ਦਾਨਿਆਲ ਕਮੈਂਟ ਸਹੀ ਸੇ ਰੀਡ ਕਰੋ ਇਧਰ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਮੇ ਸਭ ਕੇ WhatsApp ਸਟੇਟਸ ਇਸਲਾਮਿਕ ਅਗਰ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਨਾ ਹੋਤਾ ਆਪ ਜੰਨਤੀ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਬਾਈ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਕੇ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਮੇ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਦੋ ਨੰਬਰੀ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਚਲੋ ਦਾਨਿਆਲ ਲਾਈਵ ਕਬ ਆਏਗਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਅੰਮੀ ਦਾ ਵਲੀਮਾ ਲਾਏ ਹੈ ਯਾਰ ਖੁਦਾ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਕਾਮਨ ਸੈਂਸ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਗੈਸ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਪੈਸੇ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਹੈ ਨੇ ਵੀਰ ਕਿਤੇ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਨੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਉਹ ਮਾਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਵੀਰ ਹੈ ਯਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੇ ਫਿਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਚ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਲਈ ਉਠਾਏ ਸੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਉਸਮੇ ਸੇ ਨਿਕਾਲਨੇ ਪੜੇਗੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਹੀ ਹੈ ਅਬ ਮੇਰੀ ਗਾੜੀ ਮੈਂ ਆਇਲ ਚੇਂਜ ਕਰਾਉਣ ਕੀ ਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਮੋਡ ਹੈ ਭਾਈ ਮੋਡ ਹਾਰਡ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਣਾ ਭਾਈ ਤੰਗ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਆਪ ਲੋਗ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੇ ਆਪ ਲੋਗ ਗੰਦੇ ਗੰਦੇ ਲਿੰਕ ਡਾਲਦੇ ਹੋ ਚੈਟ ਮੇ ਹੈ ਅਭੀ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਕਾ ਮਹੀਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹਤਾ ਕੋ ਬੰਦਾ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਖਰਾਬ ਹੋ ਇਧਰ ਦਾਨਿਆਲ ਅਭੀ ਕਿਧਰ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਯਾਨੀ ਅਭੀ ਇੱਕ ਕਲਾਸ ਤੇ ਨਿਕਲੇ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਲੜਕਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਦੋਸਤ ਹੈ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਨੇ ਕਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਗਾੜੀ ਮੇ ਪੈਟਰੋਲ ਡਾਲਣਾ ਹੈ ਬਣ ਕਾ ਚਲੋ ਉਹ ਡਾਲ ਲਓ ਲੈਦਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਹੀ ਸਾਫ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਭਾਈ ਚਲੇ ਲਈ ਕੋਈ ਡਰਾਈ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਸੇਬ ਉਹ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਗਾਣ ਸਾਫ ਗਾਣ ਸਾਫ ਕਰ ਲੈ ਅਭੀ ਪੈਟਰੋਲ ਡਾਲ ਰਹੇ ਪੈਟਰੋਲ ਡਾਲ ਕੇ ਨਿਕਲਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਵਾਪਸ ਕੈਂਪਸ ਵਾਲੀ ਸਾਈਡ ਤੇ ਕੈਂਪਸ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੜਾ ਹੈ ਤੋ ਅੱਗੇ ਪਿਛੇ ਫਿਰਦੇ ਰਹੋ ਜਾਣੇ ਜਾਣੇ ਦੇ ਜਾਣੇ ਦੇ ਚਾਰਜਿੰਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਫੋਨ ਮੇ ਤੋ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਤੂੰ ਚਾਰਜ ਪੇ ਤੋ ਲਗਾਏ ਤੂੰ ਗਾਣੇ ਮਨਾ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਚਾਰਜਿੰਗ ਤੇ ਤੋ ਲਗਾ ਦੇ 12 ਲਾਈਨ ਦੇਖੋ ਜਰੂਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਬ ਡੀ ਕਰ ਦੇਖ ਲਾਈਵ ਸਟੱਕ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਆਪ ਯਾਨ ਯਾਨੀ ਵਾਈਫਾਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਮਹਿੰਗਾ ਹੈ ਭਾਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਹਿੰਗਾ ਹੈ ਤੂੰ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਲਗਾ ਦੇ ਕਿਤਨਾ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਇਤਨਾ ਹੀ ਇਹ 315 ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਉਹ ਕਿਤਨਾ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਬੜਾ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਤਕੀ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣੇ ਦੇ ਫਿਰ ਤਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਐਨਮੇ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਨੀ ਓਨਲੀ ਹੰਟਾ ਹੈ ਆਰਾਮ ਸੇ ਪੁਲਸ ਵਾਲਾ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਆਈਸਕ੍ਰੀਮ ਖਾ ਲੈਣਾ ਹੈ ਵਾਹ ਭਾਈ ਹੈ ਪੂਰਾ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਆਫਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਾਈ ਅਭੀ
एक मारो एक ही अच्छा भाई इसे पूछो डोजा रखा है वो आपके साथ रखेगा वो शेख सलमान बिन मोहम्मद भाईजान की हाल है ओ सलमान साहब एड्डा वड्डा नाम माशाल्लाह अल्लाह का शुक्र है अपनी सुनाओ ओ ये डोजा रखेगा डोजा रखेगा कहां से रख पाऊंगा अभी मैं ट्राई तो करना किसी ने आस्था का ले आस्था कर ले अपन को इधर से निकलना पड़ेगा बता ना रखेगा एक दिन ब्लॉक करूंगा पूरा मैं क्यों आप एक घर पे खा रहे हैं देख भाई अगर तू रखेगा मेरे लिए तो मैं तो बुलाऊंगा घर प्रॉमिस मेरा तो नहीं हो पाएगा बे मैं कुछ ज्यादा ही क्या करूंगा देख अगर तू रखेगा तो मैं बुलाऊंगा तुझे घर मेरी मां बोलती है तू रखेगा हर फ्राइडे को मेरी मां रखती है तू रखेगा मैं बोला नहीं अरे भाई तो बोला प्लीज मेरी मां मैं एवरी फ्राइडे रखती है अबे आस्ता चलाना भाई किधर जा रहा है गोली बन गया हाईवे थोड़ी है ये अब इधर पुलिस वाला खड़ा हो पार्किंग लॉट में खड़ा खड़े लिमिट क्या है थर्टी डबल जा रहा है स्कूल जोन इतनी गंदी बना के देगा ना टिकट छोड़ेगा भी नहीं वो एक दिन रखना रखने को बोलो फिर जब ये माशाला से अफदारी में जब पहले खजूर खाएगा तो इनकी कैफियत होगी फिर उनसे पूछना यार देख मजबूर नहीं कर सकते आप किसी को हम तो यूज टू है ना भाई इस चीज के ए सी लगाया देखो हम यूज टू है भाई फ्राइडे तो लव है ये भी फुल है ऑलमोस्ट भाई फ्राइडे लगाओ भाई ये अगर आउट ऑफ ऑर्डर हुआ मैं अंदर जानू चने मार रहे हैं <laughs> बंद कर दे थोड़ा बहुत छोड़ है यार तो अपने पीछे भी कोई लगा सकेगा ना राइट चल बंद कर बंद कर दे चलो अरे ये छोड़ ना यार चल आ जा अरे भाई अल्लाह भाई तनु जिंदगी तंदुस्ती ते हैं यार सलमान बिन मोहम्मद साहब तो शर्म नहीं आई इतनी गंदी गल करते हैं अज भी अलहमदुल्ला सब दोस्तों को ईशा की नमाज प्लस तरावी के लिए लेकर गया मैं कन्फर्म जनती हूँ यानी यही तो बात है उस्ताद देखो दुआ करनी है भाई के लिए बस अब देखना गैस स्टेशन में कोई ना कोई इंडिया नहीं होना थोड़ा ही डालो बाद लकड़ी शकड़ी रखी हुई है बालने के लिए यू you नो know? मतलब कि कोई बंदा आपको नहीं पसंद है उसकी टांगों में दो तीन दे के ना आग लगा दो चाबी देख ले क्लास में वापस चलते हैं भाई ये क्या नीचे पड़ा है रुको रुको अरे जीसस कॉइन पड़ा ये ये ऊपर क्या बना है साइन हो हाँ पार्ट ऑफ अमलूमिनाटी अमलूमिनाटी भाई कॉइन मिला है भाई मेरे को क्यों लग रहा है सिल्वर है ये भाई होल्ड ऑन भाई करेंसी है भाई इट्स नॉट करेंसी वे समथिंग लाइक शो मी क्या मिला ये देखो गाइस नीचे पड़ा हुआ मिला सिक्का इतना बड़ा जिंदगी में देखा सिक्का मैंने और ये पता नहीं किस कंट्री का है ये भी नहीं पता कौन सी लैंग्वेज है वो देख मैं पर काम कर रहा देखो अल्लाह वो पाकिस्तानी पाकिस्तानी बात अल्लाह की जमीन से मिली है तो मेरी है <laughs> जमीन पे जमीन पे घसीटी मारो इसको खराब इसको खराब हुआ तो प्लास्टिक है नहीं हो रहा भाई खराब मेटल है भाई प्लास्टिक है 
वो मेटल है तो उसकी आवाज आएगी तू इधर मार प्लास्टिक ज्यादा हो गई हमारे साथ प्रैंक हो गया किसी ने माने किसी ने लगता है गिराया हुआ था कैम उठाया पीछे उसने मारी पिक्चर ली है वो ड्राप द सोप वाली बात होगी इधर प्लास्टिक का यार आवाज से पता चल रहा है अबे कोई नहीं भाई गिरा के अबे गिरा के पता चला भाई मैटर ए अब अब तो मैं कीपिंग अब तो कीपिंग इट बैंच हो ओ भाई दिस इज रिडिकुलस अल्लाह दी कसम आई एम कीपिंग इट नाउ फॉर अ गुड लक यू नो फॉर अ गुड लक भाई मॉडिफाइड कार है उसने लोंगो दिखानी नहीं है इतना क्यों ये स्लो जा रहा है भाई पंप हो आरटी क्या लाइन में नौ क्या लाइन में ओ भाई 30 डॉलर में नौ क्या लाइन क्या बात कर थोड़ा दबा ना उसको पूरा दबा हुआ है भाई किधर दबाया हुआ तूने वो छोड़ी हुई चीज इसको कचरे में इसको कांच कर मार इसकी की मुंह के ऊपर है ए ए ए ए तमीज से दोस्त है मेरा सालो ए मैं तो आड़िया मैं रोजाना होता मैं तुम लोगों को बताता मैं तुम लोगों की जगह पे मारता इसको चलो भाई हां वो तो कह सकता है ना तू कोई काम कर तू मेरे लिए गाली दिया कर बाद में मैंने किसी को गाली नहीं तू मेरे लिए दिया कर गाली भाई हाँ? नहीं ये भी है भाई चलना घूमने अरे घूमने के अभी पेट्रोल डलवाया कहता चलना घूमने अरे भाई किधर थी सीट पे अभी चुभी होगी ना फिर मिली है एसी बंक की गाड़ी ऑन करते हैं वैसे चलता भाई वो ऑटोमेटिक होती है इसमें चल बे चलने दे बे क्या चीज बंद हो गया ठीपा किस गर्ल को गिफ्ट करोगे शुगल देखते हैं फिर ठीपा ओके आई शुड नेक्स्ट गर्ल वी सी आई एम गिविंग इट टू हर अरे यार एक तो सीट बेल्ट चिरोना शुरू कर देती है इसकी गाड़ी में मेरे को टिकट देगा नेक्स्ट गर्ल वी सी इन एनी क्लास आई एम गिविंग दैट टू हर किसको देगा एलेक्सा को भाई अगर तो इफ शी इज देयर आई एम मेकिंग अ मूव ब्रो रमजान के पाक महीने में मैं अभी भी ढूंढ रहा हूं एक <laughs> भाई दिस इज दिस इज नॉट दिस इज नॉट प्लास्टिक मैन प्लास्टिक ही है भाई यू कैन इवन बेंड इट ओके मे बी नॉट प्लास्टिक बट बट लाइक अ गुड मेटल ब्रो गुड मेटल ही है बहुत स्क्रैच हुए हैं हाँ गाड़ी गाड़ी ऊपर से गुजरी है ग्लास पे मार आवाज से पता चलेगा ए ए या ब्रो दैस दैस मेटल सम काइंड ऑफ मेटल सम काइंड ऑफ वो भी होता है ना लुमिनम नहीं होता मेल्ट किया हुआ ए ए तमीज से यार मतलब के पूरे लाके में मैं इसको कर रही बदमाशी स्कूल जोन में आके इसको बेड़ा कर करना है अपना है अभी मैंने न्यूट्रो डाला हुआ है न्यूट्रो प्लस डाला हुआ है न्यूट्रो प्लस के गैस भाई बस 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 स्पोर्ट्स में पागल तो नहीं है यार तू टिकट लेगा मैं देख एक्चुअली ये गाड़ी को इतना नहीं भगाना है ये गाड़ी बनी है कंफर्टेबल कार के लिए पीछे शेवी खड़ी है भाई मेरे को उससे डर लगता है 
फिर शेरी वही आ गई है पीछे भाई तनयाल आज बड़ा मजे का सीन हुआ क्या हुआ भाई बड़ा मजे का सीन हुआ टेक इट इजी भाई तेरे ऊपर है वो गाड़ी अभी लाइटें ऑन होंगी अभी लाइटें ऑन होंगी अभी लाइटें ऑन होंगी नहीं करेगा भाई मैं थर्टी फाइव पे तो चला रहा हूँ भाई जो लिखा हुआ स्पीड लिमिट फोर्टी माइल्स पर आवर इधर बता रहा है तो फिर क्या मसला है गाड़ी बताती है भाई क्या लिमिट है जगह की हैवी गाड़ी है यार देखो पैना मेरी गाड़ी नहीं है भाई देखो चाबी है ना पास मेरी बात सुन चाबी है ना पास मेरी गाड़ी ये सलाम दादा के काम देख नाउ वी कैन इवन टेक अ राइड ऑफ रोड चेक कर अपना जगह तो है निकाल सकता गाड़ी तो नहीं भी नहीं निकाल सकता भाई मैं होता लिटरली देयर इज लिटरली टू मच स्पेस मैन कहां से निकालता बे भाई देयर देयर उधर से निकालता हूं सीधा घास से ना सीधा से यू टर्न मार्स में से उसको खुद को इधर जाना है उसको आगे जो गाड़ी आई थिंक दैट वुड टू क्लोज द लाइन सो वो कुड नहीं अबे रोजे के सूरत में अगर तुम पा दो रोजा टूट जाओ तो नहीं है हम ये भी है क्या लेट मी आई हैव टू आस्क मैन यू नेवर नो वो तो नेचुरल है ना वो तो कभी भी हो सकता है नो यू हैव टू कंट्रोल मैन क्या बात है हाउ कैन यू कंट्रोल यू जस्ट लेट इट रिप एंड इट ओपन्स तो फिर शिट लेना होगा नहीं ऐसा नहीं होता अच्छा ओके 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 वेल वेल वो कैन वो कैन वो कैन डू दैट देन आई गेस माइन इज नॉट ब्रोकन देन इट ओनली हैज ब्रोकन अदर्स समीर अचानक हम हमसे बस सुना भाई की आवाज सट ही दोनों बाइक एक दूसरे में दस है ना करो यार देखो बाइक एक्सीडेंट जो है ना बहुत वाइल्ड है बिकॉज उसमें होता क्या है दोनों बंदे जो है बाहर आए हुए ऑलरेडी लाइक देर नो नो बडी इन साइड रिएक्शन मिलेगा आपको उसके ऊपर ए बजा 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 धूल यू नो लाइक द रिएक्शन बाइक एक्सीडेंट में ये बड़ा मजा है और अगर बाइक बाइक में लग रहा है तो और मजा है भाई उतरो चंडे मारनी स्टार्ट करो ये तेरी गलती है ये जब एक्सीडेंट हुआ था ना मस्त एयरबैग फट करके कान पे फूटा था चाचू के अरे भाई 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 अच्छा मजे की बात मैंने नोट की है लोगों का क्या कहते हैं ज्यादा नुकसान होता है एयरबैग्स की वजह से हां एयरबैग्स महंगे रहते हैं भाई ना भाई गाड़ी टोटल कर देते हैं वो एक बाइक पे दो बंदे थे एक और कर दूसरे की गाड़ी में ओ भाई एक उड़ के दूसरे की गाड़ी में हां वो तो सारी बात है बाइक मुझे इसलिए घर वाले बाइक नहीं लेने दे रहे मैंने खुद आई एम अ बिग फैन ऑफ बाइक्स अगर मैंने मैंने बहुत जल्दी देना बाइक यू नो माँ बाप नहीं मान रहे अब क्या करूँ यार बट इट्स माय इट्स माय शो बोल रहा हूँ बाइक स्कूल मैन नहीं बाइक दे बहुत मैंने कहा इस प्रॉमिस किया था जो नेक्स्ट लड़की मिली उसको हम ये देंगे पता चले बाकी बोले ई यू गिव बैक यू इंडियन जो मैं बोलूँ मैं चंड मार देनी उसके मैंने सिग्मा मेल बन जाना उसी वक्त हम स्लैप दै हो गुड्डी में ओ भाई घोड़ी में हैं अभी तो बारह फोर्टी थ्री पंद्रह मिनट रह गए ठीक है गुड हम भी देखें सही है भाई सही है दिखाता हूँ रुको चार्जर अरे भाई चलो भाई गाइस मुंह सूख रहा है बट इट्स फाइन रोजा ही नो अल्लाह के लिए यार सुतरा बैक कैमरा ऑन करके हमको भी दिखाना बट बच्ची प्यारी होनी चाहिए यार अब प्यारी बच्ची देखो वो नखरे बड़ी करेगी वो बोलेगी ये क्या दे रहा है आके मेरे हाथ में ठीक है रेडी हो गाइज 
Hey, this is for you. <laughs> बहुत रड़ी है वाले बच्ची कैसी लगी है गाइस इधर पाकिस्तान में तो रात के दस फोर्टी अरे अच्छे ओ भाई <laughs> रेडी अभी टाइम चेंज हुआ ना डिफरेंस पर गया होगा सही हो गए हो रेडी हो गया ना हाथ बॉय ये सही टाइम होगा तेरे लिए गेम गेम्स खेलने के लिए पाकिस्तान में अभी रात में बैठ के खेलते होंगे ना मैं तो इस वक्त सोया होता हूँ भाई तो अपनी रात देखता है पर उनकी तो सुबह वो लोग कहाँ खेलेंगे नहीं भाई मेरे जितने दोस्त हैं ऑलमोस्ट सारे न्यूयॉर्क वाले हैं अच्छा न्यूयॉर्क हाँ वो मेरे से एक घंटा ही आ गए हैं बस पाकिस्तानी कुछ ही देखते हैं मुझे फिर सही है नहीं हाथ में हमने आँखें रेडी कर ली अच्छा भाई कर लो कर लो रेडी कर लो कैमरे से व्यू भी दिखाओ भाई ये देखो भाई कैंपस का व्यू पैन दी सीरी वो देखो वाड़ा लगा हुआ ये हमारा मेन कैंपस का जो है ना एंट्रेंस है ठीक है उस साइड बाकी क्लासेस भी हैं बाकी वो बिल्डिंग्स भी हैं बट ये मेन है अभी मेन में हमारी आखिरी क्लास होती है और एक पहली होती है टोटल होती है तीन एक चौथी है ऑनलाइन अब तो पांचवी भी है ऑनलाइन अब पांच है मैच बेड़ा ही करेगा पाकिस्तानी है अच्छा I'm back, I'm back. Wi-Fi change किया गया इस फोन से स्कूल वाईफाई एक तो तेरा वाई फाई भाई वही ना मसला कर रहा है यार समझा करो स्कूल के वाई फाई में यही होना स्पीड अच्छी है वैसे इनके वाई फाई की सही चूजता हूँ इनका वाई फाई में सेवन ट्वेंटी बी स्ट्रीम में Here we go again. Hmm? अबे U A B भी लेके जाएंगे, but वो अभी जब time लगेगा भाई तब। अभी तो जा तो सकता है। Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> bro, I can't believe you just drink water in front of someone who's fasting, bro. Come on, man. That's just ridiculous, bro. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Hey, I didn't know, but if I would have known, I would have done it every single water. Bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Now you see what I have to go through, bro. Maybe I should go fill up my whole giant bottle like this, dog. Ah. Oh. Maybe I should go do that. That's just bad, man. Why are you waiting out to the class? I have a feeling she's not coming, bro. Uh, she's in there. Na masti ke teacher ne pakad ke maarna tere ko. चंडा पेड़िया लाइव स्ट्रीम में लुक वी ऑलरेडी गेट दिस ब्रो हैं किंकी मदरफकर्स वेलकम एनी टाइम Oh. 
that's 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 not plastic. That's not plastic, bro. Teacher, will coin there. Sugar, mila, vaka, vakda hoga. Teacher, ko deyo. वो बोलेगी ये क्या है यार चल सही है सही है ये पूछते बास तो मेटल है फॉर सम रीजन साउंड्स लाइक अ मेटल ब्रो इट्स गोइंग बी अ लकी कॉइन फॉर मी आई एम टेलिंग यू हाँ ना डेर ही तो आ रही है उसने क्लास से निकाल दे रहे उसने बोल रहा है ना प्लास्टिक का ही ये बोल रहा है ना ये प्लास्टिक का ही मेटल है तू चूत या ओए लकी कोई या अरे आंस आप क्यों के ओए हेड्स या टेल भाई सामने स्टार है हेड्स पीछे वाला टेल in the, in the air, in the air, in the air. Pick one. Mother. Head. Are you giving me a bro? Snap. Oh, God. Sir Taki is saying, make a big deal, otherwise, you can give your friends. Yes. Make a big deal. Make a big deal in Pakistan. Huh? Make a big deal in Pakistan. Okay. मेरा कोइन क्या तो काली यार तू सरताज तू ना तू शलील है भाई यार रमजान चल रहा है बंदे के पुत्र बन जो समझा दो लिख दिया मेरा भी ना तेरी ओए दानियाल बात सुन के कभी मंगला रहा है है मंगला डैम सलाम अलैकुम मैं बात करता हूँ हेलो यस I swear to God, we're about to fuck that one up so bad. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Bro, I was this close to calling her a bitch. <laughs> this close. <laughs> oh, how you Stacy got phone up from the college campus, bro? <laughs> There's no way. College, me the principal got phone. I had a boy. Ham galiya dene lagye the random number samajh ke. Oh my God! But I'm just so glad she said her name before we said anything. Gande lagte bhi. Pooch lo, pagal hai saale principal. Principal hai dalu. Main pooch kya? Tum kya banana? Uska rukho.
update. It's just one time, right? Or गंदी गालियां देने वाले थे हम रैंडम नंबर पे भाई प्रिंसिपल की कॉल उसका दर्शन मिलेगा ना उसके भाई मैं स्टेसी सुना मैं क्या भाई शुक्र है मैंने कहा शुक्र है भाई हमने कुछ कह नहीं दिया bro I was about to say something stupid you got lucky bro lordy quest me oh oh अबे इसको देख दानियाल रमजान के बाद में इसकी मैं इस कुमार की क्लास लूँगा तो कुछ नहीं होता यार भाई 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 imagine bro imagine उसने ले ली थी वापस उसने वापस ले ली थी उसने बोला था I'm not considering him ओ भाई इसकी class लो भाई class लो इसकी भाई रमजान आता मोन तो इसको गाली ना देनी है सब में इसको पकड़ लूँगा मैं I'm sure now it's madam. अन्य पॉइंट ही भी नहीं मार सकता है ना इसको कोई भाई वही ना जोगत भी नहीं मार सकता बंदा समझा करो यही तो सियाती है यही तो मसला है यार सबसे बड़ा दो घंटे की स्ट्रीम होने दो घंटे की स्ट्रीम होने वाली है भाई देख ना उससे गलत बात बोली तेरे पे हाँ Hello, Daniel, how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? इसके उधर डाल के कर ना नासम बंद कर दे इसका हैं निजाम बंद कर इसका हुए टू नहीं यार अभी नहीं हुए हो जाएंगे इन्शाल्लाह बड़ी सुन जो we got one more speech right few more Hell no, bro. Ah, Khan, boy, be. Today, not looking at me. Khan, boy. Khan, boy, busy. He's 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 busy. साथ से इंग्लिश में बात कर तुझे नहीं पता कि ये पिछले ज़माने में इंग्लिश का टीचर आ कर ना करो हेलो मुझे शर्मा आती है यार उर्दू में बात साथ भाई यू वांट भाई जिका गुड हो गया था ना यार भाई सबरदस्त सब टूके हो जाएंगे इन्शाल्लाह वैरी Hey bro, can you tell if it's a metal or plastic? Can you tell if it's plastic or metal? I thought 
thought it was real, bro. I was trying to trade it with something, but okay. Damn, bro. I thought I got lucky, man. Like, I, I was about to go to a pawn shop, be a millionaire, bro. Over that. That's ridiculous, man. That's crazy. Now I don't want you to come and do super. Bro. It's not a silver. You see, I got. Bro, look at the sound. Look at the sound. Look, ready? Does that plastic make the sound? It's not plastic, but it's, it's not a silver. I'm about to go sell it, bro. For 50 cents. 50 cents. Like he ain't about to give me anything. Like, I'll take it for free. <laughs> <laughs> it's not plastic. Exactly. It's not plastic, bro. Let's see which language. He about to translate this, bro. He's a nerd, bro. It's silver. It can't be silver. Like it's, it's, you see? Homie said it's plastic, bro. You wanna give it another shot? Give me the coin, bro, give me the coin, bro. Oh, so this one, bro. Oh, it's not silver. I mean, I just found this fortune on the road. <laughs> Get out of your car. Uh, no, we were getting <laughs> gas, bro. We were getting gas at the gas station, bro. Oh, it was like right beside the pump. It was, it was calling me, man. Like, bro, that's <laughs> here. Here's your fortune, man. Like, I just go I get it. Word. I think you did, bro. <laughs> you a bit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we kind of lost some value on the coin, so but now nah. nothing at all, dude. I thought I was brown enough to read this, but no, man. <laughs> nope. <Brown enough. laughs> Road simili hui big. Hey, hello. <laughs> It was God gifted. Gifted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for it. But it's not plastic either, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to wait on Miss Eldridge. I'm going to take experience from some <clears throat> older person. Yeah. I'm gonna go use it in a vending machine. I'm gonna use it in a vending machine. <laughs> mm. uh -uh. Okay, so our coin, a silver coin is a little bit thicker than the quarter coin. It is, bro. Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, I'm rich. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Some random person just made me so much rich. Abhi, oh, pop it. It's called Dant Me Daba Kar Dekh. Bro, I... Homie just... Bro, homie just gave me Indian rupees, bro. Abhi, what will happen in this? I won't get it. I won't get it. I don't want to put it on the ground, I don't want to put it on the ground. I don't want to eat it. It's a good thing to eat it. I'll eat it. Santa doesn't like it. Come on. The car is out of the car. The car is out of the car. Then you can do it. Yes. That's the same thing. One is out of the car. Bad boy. One is out of the car. One is out of the car. गोड़े को बोल उसका क्या पता हमें तो पता है ना यार पांच सौ रुपए ये गांधी जी दिखा दर गाइस गांधी जी लेवल लेवल ये जिस राह पर तुम चल रहे हो एक दिन बड़े फंसोगे भाई गांधी जिंदा हो ना साले तेरे तेरे थप्पड़ लगाए कर नीचे। लिखते बहुत हो तुम। उसके पांच सौ हमारे पंद्रह सौ करेली। चेक इंडियन रुपीस टू पाकिस्तान। फाइव हंड्रेड। देस नो वे इट्स फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड। इट कैन बी। लाइक आई नो देर लाइक 
I know they're better than ours, but not that much. TYFS school. Huh? देखना ना हमारे पाकिस्तान में आई पी विन ब्रोमैक्स पाँच लाख अस्सी हज़ार का है इनके वहाँ एक लाख पचास हज़ार का कितना डिफरेंस है पाँच लाख अस्सी हज़ार का है मेरे हाथ में पाँच लाख अस्सी हज़ार रुपये है इस वक्त फोन लाइक दिस फोन इन पाकिस्तान इज लाइक फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एटी के पाँच लाख अस्सी हज़ार फॉर इन फॉर यू गैसेज हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी के यस हंड्रेड नो वे आई थिंक आई गो बैक by selling this coin fiati hai yaar kuch bhi khuda nahi do ghante ki stream ho gayi hai bhai ghar ja ke soonga phir dobara stream karunga iftari ke baad मैंने भी रिसेंटली आई फोन प्रो मैक्स सेल किया तीन नब्बे का भाई साहब चार लाख का फोन वो भी यूज्ड मेरी तो बैटरी गई मैम को बोल सुती उठी है वाल खेल रहे ये रमसान है शर्म कर बगैर तेरे से कम मत है तो मारना मत टन
Next. 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 We chill it. Birthday is April 5th. We're not here. It's Friday. Well, the ninth is when you will we'll be here. Or it's Friday. In your group it's Friday. We can show them for a very, very, very brief presentation of that. Yeah, Uh, week 15, sure, we will uh, have interview prep in class. You will work with your partner. Then we'll present the interview on the 18th and the 20th. So those are the changes. Two more. Hmm? Two more. Speeches? So you have two big assignments that will fill the last Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, you and your group will read, you get to basically read briefly or quickly the information from your essay. Um, you, will, you will also have a persuasive speech preparation worksheet that is in that packet. It is due in class on the 21st, Thursday, Then you will also have group member evaluations, which will also be due on the 19th. It says 80, bro. I think she meant 80 points. I hate this Atos Patos thing, bro. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. No. Alright. So, this is a uh, group project slash persuasive speech preparation worksheet. 
strategy or something. So there's two, I don't know, basically combined into one. Um, and it's worth 80 points total. So just briefly, let me explain the 80 points. So the rubric is worth 50 points. So you and your group members will get the same grade. Y'all better do good. 40 out of 50, everybody gets 40 out of 50. 50 out of 50, you're 50 out of 50, okay? Um, your group worksheet, which is due on the 21st of March, is worth 20 points. So everyone will get the same grade on this. I need mean, one, just one of these turned in per group. If I were you, once it's filled out, I would make a call because it's Daniel, who was supposed to turn it in for the group, did not show up that day. We get a zero out of 20. So, oh, well, I got a copy. So okay. You don't have to, but just to have a backup. The peer evaluations. This is 10 points for you filling it out. And you have to fill out one for every group member. So it's not 10 points each, it's 10 points for all. So if you only fill out for two people, and you didn't fill it out for all four, you get like five out of ten. So, um, but that that would be an individual grade. So that's where your 80 comes into play, but there's three different grades. Okay, for the 80 points now, that's where you put it. You also get an additional 25 points, hopefully, from your peers. Your group members will evaluate you. And they will give you a, a number out of 25. I will take all the group members out of, out of my average, and you'll get something out of 25. And yeah, that'll um, give me a 25. Plug that in that to your grade. So this well, I'm squaring up. For every person. Okay. All right. So I will go over all of that. I just want to explain the 80 point there. Because I was confusing myself earlier. So, um, this assignment, you will be assigned a group. You will, you and your group will choose a persuasive topic that highlights a problem and proposes a solution or solutions to improve the problem, improve this issue, whatever it may be. You must you choose a topic that is persuadable and researchable. A persuasive speech is designed to influence or change the audience's attitudes, beliefs, values, or behaviors. Everyone in here will create an actuation persuasive speech. There's two different types, an actuation and a dispositional. And on your paper, you can explain that a little bit further. In an actuation persuasive speech, the goal is to move your listeners to action. And that's what you were trying to do. You're trying to get us to act on your solution to the problem that you have convinced us of. In a dispositional persuasive speech, however, the goal is just to influence your audience's beliefs, attitudes, or values. So you're just getting them to agree. So, so you will start there. Obviously, you've got to get us to agree. There's, there's, there's a problem. And you've got to agree that the solution that you are proposing is the best. But then you, you and your group will go a step further and try to motivate the audience to act on that solution. So um, you will use Monroe's motivated, or the key word there, motivated people to motivate your audience to consider and support. So uh, you will have an, uh, an attention section. You will have a need section, a satisfaction section, a visualization section, and an action section. So, you and your group will type on one document of each, each other type sections and look together, but I want it to look like one complete document. Don't look, I don't want it to look like it's copy and paste. I want it to be all in the same format. <coughs> But you're going to type your answers to each of the following aspects below. Please number your answers to coincide with the requirements. So use the following format. 
Use complete sentences and paragraphs with proper grammar, capitalization, 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 that is missing way too much these days, and punctuation. Verb three before submitting. So, here is your format right here. I want you to follow the format. Probably did. I would Aristotle's think. Aristotle's <laughs> philosopher who theorized were persuaded by three different methods. And it could be uh, the ethos, pathos, and logos. So ethos, what does that mean? Trust. Okay. Trust. Trust in the company organization. Okay. So good. Trust in the source. 
Trust in who gave you that information. It was yes. the source of the information. Nerd alert. Um, a simple example would be why do you believe medical advice from a doctor? Because they got some kind of credentials, and if they have credentials, that means they have years of experience. So I just trust that person because of the source. I didn't go and research what you said. I didn't go test it out. I just trust it because I think the source is credible. So eat those. You're going to have to find some evidence. And you've already practiced that in your informant speech. You told me why you had to eat those. Today I'm here to give you a speech on this and that. I'm credible because... I did research. Uh, you can say that in this speech too, but in number two, you're going to give me pieces of evidence to prove that you are a credible, ethical source for this information. Because that's even more important than a persuasive speech to be ethical. And I'll reiterate ethics in a minute. All right, pathos or pathos. Uh, this is the use of what appeal? Emotional. Emotional appeal. Aristotle uh, theorized that we're persuaded by feelings. Emotional appeal. Um, and I will give you a sheet. It's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It talks about basic human needs and then uh, we evolve from uh, our needs evolve. So um, if I'm delivering Simplified example, if I'm giving you a speech on trying to convince you to buckle up, wear your seatbelt, what emotion might I appeal to? It's about safe, protective, I guess. Use fear. Fear. Okay, good. So I might use fear, I appeal to your sense of fear of being hurt, dying. If I put you in that negative state, that negative feeling, because fear is a negative feeling, what must I do as your speaker, as your source, fairly soon after I put you in that negative situation? Give you a solution. Give you a way out. Because just like in life, if somebody puts you in a negative situation, what should you do eventually? Beat them up. Get out if they're the way out. You've got to get yourself out. Um, and as listeners, it's the audience, if your speaker does not provide a way out, you usually tune out, right? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I don't care not even getting anywhere. So put us in that negative situation, but then provide a way out. Then you can put us back in it, provide a way out. So you, you can continue to do that throughout your speech. Um, what's another negative emotion dealing with that topic? about your loved ones. Grief. Okay, grief. Good job. We can already do that again. Um, so I can talk about grief um, and really appeal to you emotionally, friends, family. Um, and, but your emotion doesn't, it, your appeal doesn't only have to be to a negative emotion. So what would be the opposite of grief in that situation that I could appeal to with that topic? So if you had grief, if you have grief, that means what did you have at least prior? You lost someone. But yeah, because I would assume we're talking about grief of a loved one. So um, I would I could appeal to your sense of love for your family, your friends, those around you. Um, but once again. It doesn't just have to be one emotion. It could be multiple emotions. And it could be a combination. But if you put us in that negative emotional state, provide us a way out um, before the end of your speech. Okay? Or at least by the end of your speech. Because our speeches are short, so that would be appropriate. Uh, logos. Logical value. Logical appeal, right. So... Some people are persuaded because, well, that just makes sense. That is logical in my brain. I can see how A and C are connected to B. Oh, what happened? 
Um, so that's important to have in your speeches as well, especially when you're trying to connect a problem to a solution. You're trying to convince us of something, and you're trying to get us to act on something. So you are going to, on number two, you are going to, you can use your voice, ethos. I'll, we will use ethos, and we will portray ethos in our speech by using, and I want the pieces of evidence. It says you must identify at least one piece of evidence. You can have more than one, but at least one. Let's review. What is evidence? <clears throat> what is evidence? Tell me an example of a blood stain on a murder scene. A knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, a evidence in it. Research. Let's say what you get out of research. Okay. So what you get out of research. <laughs> I was trying to implement that to make it a correct answer, but like something that leads you to a answer, is that evidence? Sorry. Okay, facts. Yes. Facts you find in research. What else do you find in research? Facts are pieces of evidence. Information. There are possibilities. Yeah, how evidence came to be evidence. Possibilities? Well, I'm going to mention three. I'm going to move this whole together. What are numerical facts? Statistics. Statistics. Right. We got facts, statistics. What else do we have when we have research? School with blood stains. No, I thought she was like, man, what is it like? Well, all right. I, I'll give you an example. In last class, someone said documentary. And I said, well, okay. What do you find in documentary as evidence? So documentary would be your source. Not necessarily your evidence. The documentary would be your source. What information slash evidence do you find in a documentary? Or could you find? I mean, what? Okay, that's about the statistics. So we don't have to go listen. That's a boring speech. If all you give me is statistics. Testimony, real life examples. Mm. An expert in the field is has a statement or is telling you about something. Um, we're spending a whole lot of time on this. I'll go ahead. Okay. So uh, uh, we said example illustrations, um, descriptions, even definitions of words. Uh, it might be a real life example of uh, experience that you went through. Okay? You may not find that in research, but in your research, you may find an example that that researcher has used. Maybe a family went through this situation, this person went through, or this Amazon. medical issue this person had, and you can share that with your audience. Those are all pieces of evidence. So you need a variety of them. If you give me all just facts, that's pretty boring. And that would not work for what aspect? It wouldn't work as well. Okay. All right. You would need something maybe. I shouldn't say. It could work. You just need something in addition to that. So let me give a fact plus a story. Plus their emotion. Okay. So that's what you'll do on number two. You'll tell me how you're going to use ethos and the piece of evidence that you would use under that to fulfill that. Mode. Um, pathos, how are you going to use them? And the piece of, at least one piece of evidence you would use to fulfill pathos. Logo, same thing. One piece of evidence to fulfill pathos. Okay, number three. So, on number three, you're actually going to have five Roman numerals because you're going to, it's almost like an outline. So, number three is going to be your outline. You can answer for number three. Um, but your outline does not have to be, it's almost like a more relaxed version of the outlines we've done for an informative speech. Um, you do not have to have transitions. Um, it, you could just have them in paragraph form. 
But do go ahead and label it. Um, and you can look back up here at the labels in the first paragraph. Attention, need, satisfaction, visualization, and action. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Uh, but if you Roman numeral, that's good as well. Both would be the better. But so number three, you will use Monroe's motivated sequence, which includes five paragraphs. You will include the information you provided in number two, question number two, for ethos, pathos, and logos. You will use that same information. You're reiterating, reiterating the information in number two throughout the paragraphs in number three. Okay? So Roman numeral one, the first paragraph, is complex or introduction, but you're also going to elaborate a little bit more. So Roman numeral one, you're going to gain the audience attention by drawing attention to the social issue, the problem, societal issue, whatever you want to come up with, and include background or contextual information. So you're basically informing us and trying to grasp our attention to the issue. You may choose to mention a story, quote, include some startling facts, and or statistics, cite sources where needed. Uh, second paragraph, this is where you will show need, okay? And you are going to demonstrate the need by showing how the topic relates to the audience and demonstrates why there is a need for change. Your need is for change. You will explain your problem more thoroughly here, and you will provide plenty of support, details, examples, explanation, facts, and statistics. There's a long piece of evidence. Site sources were needed. Third paragraph. This is the satisfaction stage. You will satisfy the needs of the audience by explaining your solution or solutions to the problem. You're going to answer this question. What realistically can be done to improve the situation or solve this problem? Five sources were needed. Uh, let me stop there. In the satisfaction stage, you give your, your solution, but let's say, to be ethical, if there's three or four solutions, you can't just tell us one, the one you like the best. You need to tell us all the solutions. But, as a group, you need to decide on this as a group. The best solution we feel is this, and this is what we want to do. So you, you do ultimately have to line up with one solution because your audience can't implement three or four or five solutions, right? Now you give us a choice, these are the best two, choose whichever one, if that works for you. But it all depends on your topic. Okay? So if you tell us one solution and don't mention any others, your audience can assume there are no other solutions. And if there in fact are, then you are being unethical. You're not giving us the whole story. You're not using these okay. So pay attention to that when you come out with your topics. Um, where am I? Number four, visualize visualization. In this paragraph, you're going to visualize the solution by explaining how your solution, and you can choose the best one you think, but after you've mentioned all of them, how this solution will affect the audience as well as society as a whole. Explain the impact of their action. And you can also include uh, information on if they do not make a behavioral change, if they do not act and implement this solution and this problem continues, this is what also could happen. Okay? Now, I had someone get a little confused when I said visualize, and because I had mentioned already, you don't have to have a visual aid. I said, so well, how are you going to visualize? How do you make your audience visualize without a visual aid? How do you? Use vivid like Yes, you use vivid language, exactly. Now imagine. Descriptive, vivid language to evoke what you said, Chris, their imagination. Okay. So you're conjuring up a picture in their head, and the, the picture is making it Okay? Um, so that's what you'll do in Roman number four, cite the sources, if you use it in there. Okay, number five, call your audience to action. Tell them specifically, tell them specifically where to go, how to get involved, what they need to do, what they can do, so on so forth. Cite sources where needed. You're required.
required to use at least three credible sources. The next section about persuasive strategies, we kind of went over, uh, just gives you a little more examples of some of those skills, ethos, credibility, um, logos, things like that. Um, I mentioned my blood hierarchy of need. I will bring that hand out to you next class. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that. If you'll skip to evidence and support, it says you may not attempt to persuade based on just your opinion. You must research. You must provide evidence. You will need a variety of sources, three, to have enough information to make a sound argument. Each group member should conduct research on the topic. So not just one person doing it. But you're going to uh, have to divvy up the duties as you see fit amongst yourself. Again, that's what you're about. Um, not only will you need to argue your side, but you will also need to refute objections to your case. So you will show the problems with the argument of the opposing side. Okay, let me stop there. So as I mentioned, I said I was going to refer back to being ethical. Um, if you don't have an argument against your position or that, that some people think this is not a problem, uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be against your solution, but it could just be some people don't think this is a problem. That's your opposition. If you find no opposition to your topic, you don't have a persuasive topic. That means everybody agrees. Even if everybody doesn't do it, they still agree. Or the majority agrees. And you're talking to the majority. Um, but that goes back to it must be a persuadable and researchable topic. The first term. There's only two. I swear to God. Okay. Make sure you cite your sources throughout your uh, essay. This is speech. I'm going to call it speech slash essay. Um, just like you did in your outline previously. So you'll write in your content according to Dr. Blah, 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 who wrote blah, 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 which was published um, May 2023. It shows a certain amount of volume. Okay? Have those throughout. You can use opposing viewpoints. That is a database in your Alabama Virtual Library. You can find that through the JSCC library link that you have in our course. If you go to opposing viewpoints, that's, that's on here. Y'all remember that. And you go to their search box and you type in your topic, um, it'll give you, uh, it, a lot of times it has, um, it's a series that presents both sides of the issue for several topics. It may or may not have your topic, but it has so many in there, you're, you're bound to find something similar. And then if you find something there that piques your interest more than what you came up with, then great, use that. Um, as long as you have to turn in your approval worksheet. So, but do look at that opposing viewpoint publication and uh, determine some of the types of information that, to include to help build. So why is it ethical to include people who are against my? So you can show both sides of the story. Yeah, you want to show both sides. Because if you're not showing both sides, you're leaving something out, <clears throat> which is unethical. Okay? Because we are depending on you, the source, to give us the whole story, not just half, the whole story. But when you show that opposing side, you can still show, but it's a weak argument because this, this, and this, like our position is that. And some of you may have more of an opposition than others, depending on But if you have no opposition to your topic, your problem, your solution, anything, then you don't have a choice. So think about that when you're coming up with your topic ideas. Okay, the rubric. So the first thing I will grade you on is did you effectively identify the pieces? Of your speech, did you write it out? And did you clearly identify this question of action as your policy? Did you include the explanation? That's number one. Number two, explanation explanation of implementation of Aristotle's major modes of proof in the speech. So 
Number two, did you fulfill the requirement for number two? Ready to be there. Then the next one, two, three, four, five are all about number three. Attention. Retention uh, paragraph. Did you effectively gain the audience's attention? Did you draw attention to your issue or problem? Did you include good background or contextual information for us to understand what it is you're trying to do? So this is a, that is a problem. The second paragraph, need. Did you effectively and thoroughly demonstrate the need for change? Did you include support? The next paragraph would be your third. Uh, show satisfaction. You will provide and explain the solution to the problem and how the solution satisfied satisfy this uh, problem, the change of the problem. Bullshit. What about the problem? What are the problems? Problems. Okay. The fourth is visualize visualization. Did you effectively help the audience to visualize the solution by implementing how it will affect the audience as well as society? Number five, action. Effectively call your audience to action. Provide specifics on where and how to get involved, what to do. Okay. So that's number three. In addition to, I will grade you on proper use of citations throughout number three. I will grade you on the use of proper format indicated in your instructions. Did you use complete sentences, uh, appropriate paragraphs? proper grammar, capitalization, and punctuation. And then number five, group briefly presented speech. So what you'll do, you'll come up here as, as a group. You can, everybody can have a copy of their essay slash speech. And I want everybody in the group to, to read something. You can read it directly from your so I'll probably I'll probably say first, um, and you can tell me who's going to speak. If nobody does, I'll start calling you. But uh, number one, tell me your thesis, and you'll tell me your thesis, and then I'll say, okay, is there a question back about it? Yeah, you'll tell me that, and you'll tell me why. Then you'll briefly explain, very briefly, we'll, we'll work, figure out how to do number two, ethos, pathos, and logos. And then number three, you can read me your five paragraphs. That's how you're going to present. So it's not really. A presentation is more just standing up and giving us the information that you had to give them for. Okay, uh, the next page is your preparation worksheet, and this is due again on March 21st. Make sure you write that down somewhere because it, it is not listed on the course schedule. Um, I have it on um, your. Shamko, so Tari Giba. Speech last time. Speech. Class, I'm going to carry over Bolo. You will put everybody through names on there. You're going to answer the question what is the topic of your speech? You can just read the line right there. Are you speaking on a question of fact, value, or policy? Yeah. What is your thesis? You'll write out your thesis. Is your speech meant to achieve passive agreement or immediate action? I already gave you the answer to that. Which one is it? Immediate action. Correct. Immediate. Everybody got that? Okay, you already have your answer. Um, ignore how these are numbered. <coughs> There's from five to eight. What is the target audience for your, for your speech? You can tell us college students, my class. But I do want you to give me some strategies of how you would adapt your speech to be persuasive to them. So basically, how do you relate it to your audience? Uh, next, number nine now, what methods of gaining attention would you use? And you don't have to, you can write out the uh, example of uh, an attention getter you'd like, or you can just give me a couple of ideas that you may, you and your group may have of how you're going to gain attention. Ten, how do you establish credibility in the introduction? Um, you can uh, just describe that. You don't have to like say it. You can describe it for there. Eleven, write the preview statement. You know what that is. Number and then we jump to sixteen <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, what some supporting material do you plan to use? Um, and it says be specific. Now what I mean here, and you don't have to be specific yet, really. 
what I want here is just a list of two to three, really three, sources. Go ahead and list your three sources that you think you probably can use for your speech. So what that means is you're going to have to do a little preliminary research. So look at some sources. Make sure you can find sources on your topic. And then list those sources in. They don't have to be an MLA style. They don't even have to be complete. As long as I can see, okay, they've got a start on what kind of sources they want to use. Can I learn all awesome? Oh, uh, okay, 18. What steps have you taken to answer potential objections to your audience? So, again, are there, what is some of the well, options that you have a good list there? And then last, how will you re reinforce, how will you call them to action to implement your solution? So basically this worksheet is like a speech proposal, speech topic proposal that you had done in the past. It's just a different way we're doing it, and you're doing it in groups. So you'll turn this in to me. I'll approve your topic. I'll give you some feedback on this. Um, or if it looks good, I'll give you credit and give it back to you. Okay? So you do want to have that in. Uh, at that due date so that I can turn around and go back to you to make any changes necessary before the night. The last sheet, as I mentioned, will fill one out for each group member. Um, and those will be due on the night. I think that's listed on there as well. But we'll bring that in as a hard copy. Okay. One for each group member. I'll take those up. Okay, let's get in groups. I'm going to tell you who I have this to. Bro, what? She not, not putting us in the same group, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way she doing that. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why? That's all. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. Group one. I just got assaulted, bro. Group two, baby. Okay. Group two. Chris, it was nice knowing you, bro. I have to kill the now. Last name, Pachico. 
And I'm Dan. I have a topic in my mind. Gender. There's only two. Ex oh, that's like, just like you said, bro. There has to be people that are holding it, you know? Thank you. Uh, I'm like a joke. <laughs> 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 Okay. Well, that's what y'all get, bro. I'm trying to be smart and stuff. That's what y'all get, bro. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? What are we supposed to do? Um, well, I don't even introduce yourself. You should probably be brainstorming for the next three minutes on possible topic ideas. What do you think? Meanwhile, I'm going to come around and give you all some extra... What do y'all think? Gender. I don't want to do gender. I don't want to do gender either. If for, hey guys, if for some reason you lose the copies I'm giving you, you'll have to make your own. Yes, ma'am. Personally, I don't want to do I'm going to try to... I understand. I understand. No? I think we can find something that's got opposing viewpoints without striking in there. Let's talk about terrorism. No. That one I think we can all agree terrorism is bad. Right. So there's not really much of an opposing well, point there. No, but we can look at it as how it has it make certain people look bad. Oh, uh, Does that make sense? So you talking about stereotyping? You're right. And that's what my idea was. Not like just I think we can all agree stereotyping. <laughs> okay, I guess most of the stuff you pitch is kind of one sided though. Like, right. What do you think? Any ideas? Abortion. Uh, Again, yeah, that's. I, I, I just can't, bro. This, this is minimum wage and multi state death penalty. Death penalty, that's good. Yeah, it's kind of a little controversial, but. Uh, I feel I mean, like we live in an area where that's. Ma'am. The so use of terminating a human for doing something that is seems. Horrific. Some people would strongly agree with that, but then some people would strongly not agree with that. Slavery. Uh, I'm just throwing it back to that. <laughs> um, what else? It has to be a topic that we all agree to, but also people that don't agree with it. Well, that's another thing, because I'm mm -hmm. probably, I mean, y'all probably don't agree with what, uh, let's, okay, um, it's like, I made my gun loss. Like, they should be, uh, ways Stricter gun loss. But I have one. Yeah, so like I would be on the other side of that. I, yeah. I mean, you on the first hand, you sell guns, bro, so you know about stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. So how, how, how are you saying that people against it? What, what are you making? No. Well, I'm not like a, I'm not a super political person, but when it comes to gun laws, like, I, the whole reason my job exists is to push gun laws, right? So it's to make sure the criminals are not buying guns, to make sure... But, like, there's also people that are selling guns without any... Exactly. Yeah, yeah, true. So how does that even... Um, believe it or not, whenever I do my stuff, my job is to make sure that there's nobody buying to do that. Mm -hmm. And so if I have any suspicion of it for any reason... You know there's people out there that you can pay twenty dollars right now and they'll give you a gun. I've not met those people, but uh, there are like plenty, bro. Ooh, I'd like to meet them. Like but most of them, <laughs> no, no, just personal experience. We enforce no, laws. No, they that's not racist. What the fuck? No, You know, I really appreciate you going out there and printing it for us. That's, that's a lot. Oh, the holes. Well, printer. You never know if it's white, remember it.
Spending 20 years in jail, eating so, the government money that the right, you know, like. That's true, but what's also the point of, like, yeah. if, if he doesn't get caught, at least he's going to run the jail cell for the rest of his life. It's eye for an eye, man. It's been there. I mean, in our country, it's eye for an eye, man. It's not no jail stuff. You know? Like, they cut your head in the middle of the, yeah. middle of the street. Yeah. You steal, you cut your hands. Yeah. I've heard of stuff like that. I've been to Africa and they do stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah, it's happened around the world, dude, to be honest. It, it kind of... It's the same kind of... Like, I went to Africa and it's kind of like the same, like, police in Africa. Like, like the, the human kids, rights... Like, they'll shoot kids. The human rights comes in, you know, you can't do this to humans. Like, but, like certain rules, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's why some countries are way here and then some are here. Like, there's a reason. So what do you think about our country, like America? Bro, yeah, I believe yeah, here is just. Yeah, you think that there's too much of the judiciary system in place? Right? <laughs> We're meeting there as well, correct? Like, you know, too, too much. There's too much like easiness. Like, I, there's not too much control over the people, and you know, I'm not saying our governments are control like controlling everything, but I'm saying it's just like, no, no, no. It's good, understandable. Like, but I'm still trying to say it's, it's way harder in other countries. Like. There's certain things you can't even talk about, dude. Yeah. You know? So that the freedom here is... I get it. Yeah. But, like, I talked to some people from California on Sunday. They talk about shoplifting in California so bad. Though that thing, yeah, I've heard that too. Like, it has to be a certain they amount that... They had to arrest them. They had to, like, it has to be, like, $98 for them to... Like, that's just ridiculous, dude. Someone, some like, break into LV like, just took a... Yeah, so some people, like, when they go to the grocery store, they'll have a, like... A loaf of bread will be a thousand dollars. You can check it out. They will uh, give you a discount to give you back to like. What about recycling? Recycling, I feel like it's kind of that. You could just say, oh, we're going to talk about the We can make all the organization on that. And save turtles? Yeah, we can, we can make it about turtles. I just, I just can't get the idea how the ocean is like that big. <laughs> Turtle nose is this. And somehow a plastic straw <laughs> comes all the way, dude, straight to that nose and the turtle dies. I believe it's pretty completely made up, dude. What about, like, oil? What about what, these? You know what we can do? Nuclear bombs. Um, I'm thinking more like oil spills, but I 